Welcome to Castaways, a modded SMP where nine of us have been shipwrecked on a cluster of islands after a bad storm. With no other land for miles away and no ability to craft boats, we're left to survive with whatever resources we can find. I may be far from home with none of my belongings, but hey, at least I have my socks and sandals to keep my feet protected. I'm really not sure what's going to be in store for us, but maybe if we all stick together, we'll soon be able to call this place our home. So after a couple days spent building up a basic camp, we all had a meeting to figure out the next steps. Did you leave me on purpose? You're my buddy. No, Drift is my disaster buddy. We, d we agreed before we got on the boat. Wait, what? What do you mean disaster oh. buddy? I don't agree to that because I don't want there to be a disaster. Yeah, but you gotta be prepared. There was already I mean, a disaster. There already was a disaster, yeah. A haircut's Wait, a disaster. Got... Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh she did it. Got it. Wow. <laughs> Not to mention Aww. you're wearing high socks was flip-flops. Because mean, it's practical, mm. because then your, your, your sand feet don't get all sandy and Rock stuff. Are those cargo shorts? Today. <laughs> no, they're swim trunks. I was getting ready to hop into the water. Well, you got what you wanted, didn't you? After um a little bit of squabbling, we all began to discuss what our next steps were. The camp we had set up after initially being washed ashore had gotten us by, but we had no idea if or when help was going to arrive. Eventually, we all decided that since we could be stuck here for an indefinite amount of time, we should all pull together on getting actual bases and resources established. Okay, I oh. propose that in the morning, we get up, we separate again, find different sources of food, and set up something a little bit nicer than this until, mm. I don't know, we figure our way out of here. Yeah, I think that, that sounds like a good smart plan. thing to do. Mm -hmm. So with a plan in place, it was time for us to seriously get to work. Well, maybe after we admire how adorable this turtle is. So. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, he's, he's so cute. Oh. <laughs> What's his name? Frank. Oh, Frank. His toes come out. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> oh. Guys, I think I'm going to like it here. Maybe. All right, so it's a fresh new day, and it's time for all of us to start making this place our home. Wee. I think I've finally accepted the fact that it's not likely help's gonna arrive for a while. So I think the next step is to focus on getting some resources to survive and finding a good spot to live. So with all of that, I guess the first thing we need to do is the customary Minecraft tradition of punching a tree. All right, and let's get ourselves a crafting table going so we can make some tools. Oh, geez. Oh, no. This is terrifying. Oh, okay. We're good, we're good. Oh, oh no. I think I just killed a snail. Oh no. Oh, this is a bad first night. Not great, not great. What's this? A rare hat. I'm guessing mobs drop these. Stay back. You are afraid of me now. Okay, you're actually not though. This isn't good. <laughs> More phantoms? You've got to be kidding me. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> I am literally fearing for my life at this point. I'm gonna die. This is the worst start. Oh, there's sheep. I probably shouldn't be killing them because there's only a limited amount on the island, but honestly, I'm desperate right now. Plus, maybe I'll get lucky and get some wool for a bed. I didn't get any I could combine. Oh no. Okay, now that I have a little bit of food, I think I need to be safe and practical, which means, yeah, I'm digging a hole into the side of this hill until it's morning. There we go. Now we're rocking. I mean, literally. I got some stone. So yeah, with a really bad first night in the books, I think I need to play it a little bit safe. I have this hidey hole, but no coal to even light it up. So I'm gonna start digging down and looking for some resources. Ugh, my hunger's so bad though. Okay, it's time to be brave and go out there for just a little bit of food, just a bit. Honestly, if I have to eat zombie flesh at this point, fine, so be it. I have no shame. Oh no, I forgot to seal off my entrance. No. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. The first night on this new SMP wasn't looking so great for me. But hey, that's not gonna get my spirits down. You know what? I'm cool. I'm cool drift. I'm feeling cool. I'm feeling fly. I can I can take this on. I can take this on. There's so much stuff that I need. You know what though? This island is actually looking pretty nice though. Look at that sunrise over there. You know, every everything's turning out. The sun's rising. I may have died, but we've got, got a new day. Maybe the first thing that I need to do is get some food. And instead of expelling all of our resources with sheep and cows, because those are definitely limited, I think maybe I should go in here and try to catch some fish. There are some like new looking crops around here too, but I'm getting distracted. Let's go for the fish first. Oh, they are literally just cooking themselves here. Oh God, I'm cooking myself too. Oh no. Oh. Whoa, what was that? Did I just pick up a fish head? Cod head. <gasps> yes, it's like a prize. I love that. Okay, I'm feeling confident now. I'm feeling good. You know what? We're surviving. We're surviving. I mean, like just barely. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hoping the other girls 
are doing a little bit better than I am because I'm I'm a little bit concerned for myself right now. I can't lie. Yeah, there we go. Now we're rolling. But I think as of right now, the focus is still maybe on some fish. Maybe if I camouflage myself. Yo, I'm <laughs> a god wearing sunglasses right now. <laughs> Blending in with the fish except I'm way cooler. Definitely got way more swag. All right, let's go back to our hidey hole. I keep thinking like something's gonna spawn in here, but we should be okay for the most part. I really need to make torches though. This is getting a little bit concerning, to be honest. So I think that means we need to mine for some resources. Oh no. Well, this isn't good. Wait a second. Huh? This is just a giant cave. And finally, we've got our first bit of coal. We're making progress. Oh, iron, nice. Ooh, even more iron. Heck yeah, let's go. All right, I think I've gathered enough stuff from the caves, so we're probably good to head up now. I know this is pretty much the first place I landed, but I really like this island. So I think I'm gonna start spamming torches to make it a little bit safer and also mark out my spot. All right, that should be good. Now that I've claimed my island, I think I should see what else is around here. It seems like some of the others have been doing some adventuring while I've been kind of playing it safe. Oh, I think I hear voices. Oh, hey, Drift. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, wow, you guys are looking fly. What are you looking for? Sheep. Sheep. Yeah, we need sheep. We want to sleep with that. She is. You haven't found any sheep yet? No. Wait, where are the sheep? Have you? I mean, okay, guys, I have a confession. Please don't judge me. I may have accidentally killed a couple on my island, but I thought there would be more. Listen, I thought there would be more. You killed Ow, ow, guys, stop it. I was starving. I was really hungry. Guys, let's leave. Guys, no, wait. I'll make it up to you. You need to get us some sheep. Okay, well, fine. P toss me the shears. Nah, nah, uh-uh. We're looking yes. together. You're not getting mm -hmm. my shears. Uh -uh. Let's go. Wait, but you never yeah. slept. Wait, did yeah, you, like, did make you get... bed? Do you have... So you didn't even get... The no, wool. because I got, I got, like, one wool of, like, different kinds. So it was a, it was a horrible mistake. Two. Guys... Come on, we're still friends, right? I don't know. I don't know. Can you find us a sheep? Find us sheep? Oh, oh my oh, gosh, I almost fell. Oh, oh no. my god. Who oh. wants to be pushed? Just kidding. Drift us. Not me, not me. No, 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 no. Drift. Come we'll on, guys. No, 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 no. Drift, drift, drift. We'll forgive you. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, guys, oh, oh, I if I, if, if you push me down the hole, will, will you forgive me? Yes. Okay, okay who's gonna push me? Jump, 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 jump. After I'd been pushed down the pit to absolve my crimes, we searched around the island some more for some sheep. Sev ended up looking after them since she was the only one with shears. And now I'm back home on my island from all of those shenanigans. I'm kind of starting to think those are going to be a common occurrence around here. What the? <laughs> oh, Sev, never change. So now that I'm back home, I think I'm going to start on getting my own little base together. And the first thing I'm going to do is start planting some seeds. That way I'll have some food for myself and for the animals as well. Now, if I want to start farming animals, that means I also need a pen. Oh, and it looks like we have our very first farm animal right here. Heck yeah, come on, come on. Uh-oh, there we go. Now we just need to find you at least one more friend. Oh my gosh, there's so many here. There's so many. Come on. Well, it looks like cows are no longer a worry. Come on. Brooke? Hello. Hi. Are we, are we neighbors? Are you here? Are you going to be living over there? Yeah, I'm right there. I see you have cows. Um, I have sugar cane. I wonder if we, we should start together getting some books together for enchanting. I know it's kind of early, but... I, I think that's a great idea. Oh my gosh, yes. I can take care of these. Okay. Yeah, you take care of the sugar cane and I'll we'll just combine it. Yes. Okay, teamwork. The sooner we get that done, the better, for sure. Maybe we could also make it like a little communal area for people. Yeah. Or even better, we could charge people to use it. You know what? I like that idea. I know we're I know we were all talking about like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna be in this together. We're gonna help each other out. But you know what? I'm I'm down to make a quick buck. Yeah, I mean, we need stuff. If people need stuff from us, they can give us something. I mean, like you all just like push me off a cliff. So like, I don't know where anybody's loyalty lies. So at the end of the day, I don't mind charging people for stuff. I mean, you started killing the sheep. We weren't sure where your lo loyalty was either. Hey, this tree is weird. I know. I think it's it looks like a willow tree or something but look at the look at the green wood wow if i chop i'm gonna this chop these cool. down because i might end up building with this so if wow. you need some saplings i mean neighbor neighbor Ooh. discount right okay yeah i'll show you what i have 
This, this is what I- What have. is that? It's mahogany. Yeah, I think there was only one tree and I got it, so. Hey, you got the saplings too? Yeah, yeah I got eight of them. Oh, I'm gonna need some of that. Okay, we're, we're okay. banding together. Friendly neighborhood discount, right? Yeah, friendly neighborhood discount. All right, so it seems like I might actually have a little bit of an alliance forming with Brooke, which is, you know what? She seems pretty trustworthy. I think that this could be really good for me. Hopefully she has my back. And just as I was getting started on my farming, Seb decided to pay a visit to me as well. Oh, Drift. Seb, what's up? I might have something you like. <gasps> what? What is it? Is it Crocs? Your mom. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was rude. What, what, what do you got? What do you got? This one here. Look at this. What is that? Do you know what this is? What is that? It's like a dusty tree. Seb ended up finding some orange spruce trees. They have orange leaves, but the wood is still exactly the same as the regular spruce wood. I can give you more for a price. I think I might have something that you'll like. You just oh, have yeah? to trust me. How would you like that? What, demon horns? Yeah, <laughs> aren't they cool? Oh my gosh. All right, so thanks to Seb, I now have a really crucial component that I needed for my build, which means all I really have to do now is gather up a few more resources, and then I think I'll be ready to build my starter home. So I think it would be wise to start by gathering up some of this oak. Oh no, the sun setting. Uh, I think I have some iron and I know Sev has those sheep. All right, I think it's time for me to make these shears. And I don't think she'll mind me shearing a couple. Hey, it's for the safety of the island, okay? Oh, can I make dye out of this? Ooh, I can. Let's dye this up. And finally, oh, I was gonna say I can sleep peacefully, but I can't. <laughs> I can't. Okay, what if we go down here? The monsters can't get me here. Yes! I see you, skelly boy. Yes, we got another hat. What'd I get? Top hat? Oh my gosh. This hat mod is the funniest thing I have ever seen. Look at me. Oh boy. All of the mods on this server are so incredibly fun, but the problem is you just constantly get distracted. I feel like I've tried to do a hundred things already and I just get derailed every single time. With that being said, I think it's time for me to go into focus mode. Okay, so we need a bunch of wood for our build, which means we should probably plant some of these spruce saplings that Sev gave us earlier. So while we wait for those to grow, I'm gonna spend some more time collecting some fish for food. I'm getting kind of sick of my diet being strictly fish, but hey, it'll do for now. Ooh, these are pretty. <gasps> I love that. But most importantly, I now have spruce. All right, so after quite a bit of resource collecting, I now have a good supply of food. And I also got a couple stacks of spruce and some oak. Now, the only thing left that I really need are some basic resources from the caves. I think it would be a really good idea if I at least got some iron armor. And a little bit of extra coal and cobble would go a long way as well. Plus, if I come across some diamonds, that would be a pretty sweet bonus. All right, let's go find ourselves a cave. Oh, is this an entrance? Yes, okay, awesome. Someone has definitely been here. There might be some extra resources hanging around, so I think it's worth a shot. Ooh, lapis. This is really gonna come in handy for mine and Brooke's enchanting area. Iron, nice. I actually managed to find quite a few pockets of iron just in this one spot I had been exploring. Oh boy. Yeah, this looks like a pretty big cave. I don't know, maybe I'll get lucky with some diamonds. The cave actually seemed to go down a lot further than I was expecting. So before I set off to explore what was down there, I made a station to burn up some iron so I could properly gear up. And just like that, full iron armor. Except you actually can't see it because I have a resource pack on to make it invisible. But Trust me, it's there. All right, I think we can probably grab the rest of this and just keep going on into the caves and look around to see what else we can find. Oh, oh no. Whoops. This cave ended up having a ton of resources in it. I managed to find a lot more iron. I got some extra lapis for the enchanting table. I even found some redstone in case someone needs it. And most importantly, I found my very first diamonds. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes! I found my very first diamonds. Ooh, three! That's enough for us to make a pickaxe, and that's perfect. Especially because me and Brooke are gonna have to mine some obsidian if we want our enchanting setup. Okay, so I have pretty much everything I need from these caves. Like I have tons of iron, I got my diamonds, we've got tons of lapis, but I feel like we should explore just a little bit more to see what else we can find. What is that up there? Is that like a mine shaft? I do see diamonds, but that looks like very, very risky. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make myself a diamond pick because there is some obsidian here and this obsidian is gonna be super, super useful for mine and Brooke's enchanting table. This is exactly what we needed. 
All right, I think six should be enough. I mean, I think you only need like two for an enchanting table and we're not doing anything with the portals just yet. So that should be good. Now, I don't know if I should risk it for that little bit of diamond over there, especially with like all of that lava there. You know what? I'm already down here, so why not? I feel like my flip flops will keep me protected. All right, and there's the diamonds I came here for. Boom. All right, we got one more. That's not bad. I think I'm really satisfied with everything I found in these caves today. So I'm gonna head on out. Ah, the sweet fresh air. So it looks like I have a chest full of pretty valuable resources, yet I'm still living in a little hidey hole that I made on day one. So I think the next thing that I need to do is gather up a couple more stacks of logs so I can build a proper house. And now with all of that gathered, let's see what our block palette looks like. Ooh, you know what? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. What about strip spruce? Oh, yes. Okay, I really like this combo. However, I feel like it would be nice to have a third block in the mix of this palette. Maybe something a little bit lighter. So let's take a look and see what's around these islands. All right, what do we got? What do we got? This is all oak. Uh, birch here, but that's a little bit too light. This palm tree looks kind of nice. Ooh, it makes planks. I might try taking one of these. Wait, what does this palm tree look like? This one is, ooh, this one's like a little bit dustier looking. I feel like the planks fit the vibe of the palette a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit more of this. All right, let's see how this looks in the palette. You know what? The unstripped pairs really nicely with the spruce. What does it look like stripped though? Ooh, that's not bad at all. Yellow, green, and then the brown. That's a pretty good color combo. And with the planks next to it, I think this might be my winning palette. So with my palette sorted, all I really need to do now is pick out a spot for this build. And I was honestly kind of thinking that building it around here would be really cool. I really like these little rocky bits of basalt. And also this is an entryway to the river that's close to our camp and close to everyone else around me. So I feel like that's the perfect spot to have a starter home. Now I mentioned a huge component of my build is going to be spruce. However, we have something called the chipped mod on this server, which means you can craft different types of planks out of various woods. However, in order to access these recipes, we need to make a carpenter's bench. Now to get one of these, I think I need to place logs, a crafting bench, planks, wooden axe, and a piece of iron. And that gives us the carpenter's table, which looks cool enough on its own. Honestly, I could just use this as a decorational block and be happy. But with the carpenter's table, what we can now do is turn all of this spruce into different types of spruce cuts. So the spruce logs has its own variety and then the planks do as well. And look how many options there are. So I actually think that the brick bond spruce planks would look really cool, especially paired next to this. They almost match perfectly. Honestly, this is a winning combo. So now that I have access to all of these amazing modded materials, I think I'm ready to build this thing. And as I was getting ready to kick off my build, Red decided to pop by to propose a little bit of a trade. What can I do for you? Well, I was just stopping by because you said you had some of that green wood, the willow wood, and I was hoping you'd maybe want to, you know, trade, get some of this Skyrus stuff in exchange. So Red was going to give me a stack of the Skyrus wood, which was more than enough of what I needed. I, however, didn't want to chop down any more of those willow trees because I swear, those things are worse than mangrove. So I ended up just giving her a bunch of saplings instead. I'm sorry, Red. After we had finalized that deal, we decided to have a nice casual catch up outside of my cave dwelling. Oh, Enderman. Also, it's weird that the Endermen have like red particles. Oh, oh my god, I oh, no. was looking too long! Ah, no. What the heck? Red! No! What is going on? Oh my god! I'm scared! I don't want to die! It's got a boss bar! Oh my god, Red! No! We're gonna die! No! Well, so much for that nice friendly chat. All right, after all of that chaos, I am now officially ready to begin building. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started before something else bad happens. All right, let's start by building the walls up out of modded spruce beams for the corners, and then we'll use some brick bond spruce planks for the walls. Next, I'm gonna fill in the roof using the green willow wood. To add some shape to the build, I'm gonna add a dormer into the roof. That's looking pretty good so far, but the front is looking kind of flat. So to help give it some shape, I'm gonna put in an awning. Then we'll add some extra shape to the back of the build as well, and to the side of the build too. After the structure was all laid out, I spent some time putting in a dock and adding some details. 
All right, and here's the build all finished. And it looks like my neighbor has been pretty busy as well. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. The block palette with the spruce, willow wood, and bamboo planks really came together nicely. So I made the entrance to the house accessible from the dock, but I also made a little path wrapping around here with an entrance at the back. And as you can see, yeah, the interior still needs some work. And also some of the exterior could use some decorations as well. But hey, that's perfect because I have been itching to use some of these modded blocks. So I know that you can change barrels with the carpenter's workbench, which means we now have access to all of these different types of decorations. We can make spruce barrels, crates, and even fruit barrels. And I think blocks like this would look so nice stacked outside the house. I also wanted to make some seats for my dock, but you need spruce boards and it took me forever to figure out how to do this. I thought you had to craft them, but no. You literally toss planks on a stone cutter. <laughs> That's wild. So with these boards, you can make spruce dining benches, which look pretty cool. There, we now have a nice little seat so we can watch all the happenings on the island. Modded is so fun. Okay, all of the decorating is officially done. I ended up moving the carpenter's workbench out here just because it made sense for it to be outdoors. And I think it looks really cute. And then over here, I just added in a cute little garden area. And now for the inside of this build. I don't think you're all ready for it. I don't think you're ready. No, for real though, it's it's pretty cute. Just gonna just gonna give you a little, little peek. Whoop, whoop, that's all you get. Okay, here's the inside of the build. And you know what? I think it's pretty cute. I really, really like it. I tried to just use as many modded decorational blocks as I could. So at the entrance, we've got ourselves a cute little mat so we can wipe down our feet when we come in. And same for that entrance as well. I like to keep things clean, okay? Then we've also got some like really fancy modded paintings. These are actually so cute. I adore them. Oh, adorable. And then I've also got a little stand for my hat. So, you know, I can just like put on my hat before I go outside. And when I come back, boom. I can put it on this little hat stand. <laughs> I love it, it's so cute. I also have this fish trophy, which is really cool. And I've also got one in here that's a spider. Makes me feel like I'm a little bit of a baddie. Except I'm not, I'm, I'm scared all the time. Also, I kind of love how I went with the decision to make this house basically a giant kitchen <laughs> with like a tiny little bedroom. <laughs> You know what? Food is my top priority, okay? So I'm gonna be cooking up a storm here. But look, you even have like a little skillet where you can put stuff on to cook it. We've even got ourselves a cute little cooking pot. We've got exhaust fans. So, you know, all the smoke just, just goes up and away. This kitchen's up to code. And you know what? I'm very proud of that. Got ourselves some storage for some more food items. We have a cutting board. And of course we have a little dining area where I can enjoy my meals and my cup of coffee in the morning. Pretty cozy, right? And as for the bedroom, I kept it pretty simple. We got a couple of drawers in here so I can put my clothes in there. We got a little bit of light reading. Uh, we've got, uh, what is that? We got twilight, new moon, uh, twilight breaking dawn, and uh, what's this one? Oh yeah, another copy of New Moon. Listen, you never know when you might need a second copy of Twilight, okay? And of course, we've got a little rug right here to keep my feet warm in the mornings when I get up from bed. Now I do have the basic bed right now, which eventually I wanna switch out because there are modded versions and they're really cool. However, they have some materials that I kind of need. Plus I wanna go over some more modded stuff with you all in the future. Some of these things involved quite a few steps to make, if I'm honest, and I would have loved to go over all of it, but it was just so much. But every episode I'll try Try to keep focusing on some of the functionality of the mods. I figured I'd gone over so many today that it would have just been too much with all of these ones. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of my brand new starter home. And you know what? It's super cozy and I think that's what matters the most. We're not really gonna talk about all of the storage issues I'm having at the moment as you can see, because that'll be solved in the next episode. I promise. I very much promise. I just really wanted to build a cute kitchen and bedroom, okay? Is that too much to ask? All right, everyone. With a cozy place built up, I think it's finally time for me to get some proper rest and relaxation. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing because it really helps out the channel. And with that, I'll see you all soon. Bye! Ah, it's another glorious day on these islands. The sun is shining, the water is crisp and refreshing, I've got a place to relax, read some books, drink some coffee. I don't think there's a single thing that could possibly go wrong today. Oh. Uh, that's a lot of stuff, isn't it? Maybe my inventory's become a bit of an issue. 
So I think today might be looking like a little bit of a cleanup day. Listen, I know I'm not the most organized Minecraft player, but I definitely need to make an effort to keep things neat and tidy. I mean, like, why do I have this fish here? Ugh, gross. How long has that been there for? So I'm thinking today's task is to build a proper storage unit. And I was kind of thinking that building it into the side of the mountain here could look really cool. Also, this hidey hole just kind of needs to go at this point. Like, it's beginning to look a little bit creepy in here. I can't lie. Another thing that we do need to focus on today, however, is getting better gear. This iron armor is only going to get me so far, plus I could definitely use some more efficient tools. So I thought it could look kind of cool if maybe we build a storage unit with a mining entrance as well. And then hopefully if we build all of this up, all of our problems will be solved. Nah, who am I kidding? I'm shipwrecked on an island far away from home. That's the biggest problem I have. And speaking of problems, I seem to have run out of food. Well, I guess it's a good thing that I built up this state-of-the-art kitchen, equipped with non-stick frying pans. And as I was frying up some lunch, Brooke decided to pop by because she had the rest of the materials we needed for our enchanting setup. So we went over to my hidey hole to combine all the materials together. Where's the leather? Are you taking me into the woods to like kill me? No, what the heck? No, this is just my little hidey hole. Come on. Okay, well, you've been killing other things in here. Listen, listen, don't, don't <laughs> even so concern weird. yourself with this wall. This is none of your business, okay? Dude, you have a house. Ow, I'm building stop. a storage unit. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> stop hitting me with coconuts. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. Stop showed me you could do that. Once I ran out of coconuts to throw at Brooke, we combined all of our materials together to make the enchanting table. Oh, yay! And after that, we combined the rest of the materials together so we could make bookshelves for the right level of enchantments. I think we're ready. Yeah, so where are we going to build this thing? I reckon we build it near us, but also somewhere communal so that we can charge people to use it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, like, what are we going to charge here? Because, like, I don't have that much stuff. Neither. I reckon we can just see what people give us. Like, we could just have a sign and be like, I don't know, leave tax for use. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, like, we'll specify, like, no garbage. Yeah, 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 yeah. So over on the islands over this way? Yeah, I think so. Like somewhere near the campsite. It could be like a woodsy enchanting setup. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is cute too. I like this. Oh, look at the mushrooms, okay. Brooke. Yeah, okay, we should do it here. Once our spot had been decided, we laid down the enchanting table. Double check, level 30, let's go. <gasps> Yay. I've got fortune, fortune three pickaxe. <gasps> you have to do that. Oh, I'm only at level it. 27 though. No. I know, I know. I need to gain some levels first, but I do have a chest that we can put down for the lapis and stuff. I have tons of that from the caves. We could have like one of lapis and then one on the other side for like tax or donations. We could call it donations. Yeah, tax is a little bit of like a strong word. I think donations okay, is, yeah, is what perfect. we should call it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Realizing we forgot to actually bring the lapis with us and not having enough resources to make any chests, we had to make a quick trip back to my hidey hole for all the materials. Okay, we have to go back to my scary later. dungeon quickly. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> like, why you, like, why do you hate it so much? What's your problem? I just, I haven't seen this. And you had this, like, lovely little house. And then you just lead me into, like, a weird dirt cave. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why? Here's your house. Once we had gotten everything we needed, we went back to our enchanting spot. You were literally still swimming right now. What the heck? Wait, no, I'm not. <laughs> Stop it. Stop what? hitting me. <laughs> I'm not swimming. What I'm the? not. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm walking. I can <laughs> see myself. Are you, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Thanks for asking. Once we had all of our bins in place, we thought it would be a good idea to put down a kind word of warning to not leave junk as donations. Okay. All right, I don't want to sound like too threatening, but I also want to send the message that junk is not okay. Yeah. All right. Mm, I think I got it. Uh, that does sound threatening. Oh, it does? Uh, do you want to try? Yeah. yeah, 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 sure. How's that? That's not threatening, right? <laughs> I mean, it sounds like like you're really pleading, you know? You got to you got to be a little bit more aggressive than that, you know? Okay, do you want to try try an in between? Okay, let's try one more. How's that? If there's junk in this bin, you get <laughs> pushed into the ravine. Wait, there's a ravine? You know, the one you guys pushed me into! Dig oh, one! Yeah, 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 yeah. 
yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. Sure. Yeah, I think that works. That's fair. I hope it doesn't entice anyone to put junk in there. Just to see what <laughs> we do. probably begging for it. I feel it. like it will. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> now that we had our communal enchanting setup ready to go, we decided it would be best to advertise it on the notice board back at the camp so people would actually know it existed. I... Okay, this is not a good message. Maybe you need to try this one as well. <laughs> what is this, like a blockbuster film or something? Like, oh, here, let me fix yes, that for you. I, that's what I was going for. I just don't think it worked. How's that? <laughs> I thought you were actually going to fix it. I mean, I did uh, fix great. it. You have uh, to okay. specify what type of media it is so people know if they can watch it or not. I mean, no one can watch it if it's on VHS. I mean, who knows? Maybe a VHS player is going to wash ashore or something. I mean, who knows? Sure. Okay, swag. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we like this? I don't know. It's so fun. <laughs> All right, so now that the island has an enchanting setup, I think the best thing for me to focus on now is getting some better tools. That way, it'll be a lot easier for me to gather all the resources I need to make this storage unit. So I think the most efficient way to go about doing this is building a branch mine down a deep slate level, which means I've got quite a bit of digging to do. <gasps> I found diamonds. Yes. Wait, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Holy. Ooh, I feel like I should save this for when I get fortune because that's a lot. Honestly, I'm not even done digging out this mine yet. However, if I can get to level 30, then I think I can enchant my fortune pick. Because when we were at the enchanting table with Brooke earlier, I did notice that fortune was one of the enchantments. So I say we just get that done now because it'll make our lives so much easier. All right, levels, levels. I need some levels. Uh, I feel like the easiest thing for me to do is breed up some cows and chickens. Okay, okay. Okay, we're at 29. We're so close. All right, I'm sorry, chickens. Come on, we're so close. 30. Let's go. Okay, I think we should be good with this. Now let's see what we get. Efficiency three? Oh no. No. No! I thought I had fortune three. No, why did I do that? Oh no. I thought it would give me fortune three as well. So after I made that silly mistake while enchanting, I decided to hang out and fish to gather up some more XP so I could try it again. Let's see what we get with it this time. I mean, fortune one? Really? I guess if I must, I'll take it. I think having any type of fortune at this point is probably a good thing. Plus, I do have efficiency and I'm breaking on it, so that's pretty good. All right, let's see what we get with this cluster of diamonds. Okay, okay. You know what? 13 out of a cluster of nine is not bad at all. That is pretty dang good. I'm just going to quickly stash these away so we know they're safe, and then I'm going to keep mining down to bedrock. No way. No way. How many we got here? So it looks like it's a cluster of four. That's not bad though. All right, what do we get from this? Five. Not bad at all. Especially considering I haven't even made my strip mine yet. This is pretty awesome. So once I had reached bedrock, I began the long task of strip mining to search for diamonds. And after digging around for quite a while, I had managed to find some pretty good clusters along the way. Okay, I think I should have enough diamonds to do all of my armor and tools. I do have some stashed away upstairs, so let's go take a look. So we got 18 here, which gives us 39. And now we can finally get this armor crafted. So that means we can take off all this iron armor and let's fully suit up. Okay, that was like a little bit anticlimactic. But if you look in this crafting screen, full diamond armor. Let's go. So we're fully suited up, which means we can use the rest of these for our tools. Boom. Oh, that looks so fresh. The only thing we're missing are enchantments. We're really close to level 30 enchantments, so let's uh farm some more of these animals. That way we can enchant one more item for now. So I think I might enchant my axe first because that's what we're likely gonna be using the most. What do we got? Efficiency three and fortune two. I mean, I wish I had that on my pickaxe, but hey, at least we got the efficiency so it'll be easier for us to chop down those trees. So now that all of our tools are sorted out, we can start getting this build together. So before I begin building this thing, I'm gonna take a look around the islands to see if there's any cool modded blocks I could use. These look kind of cool. What we got? Whoa. Ooh, that's a really nice color. It's kind of like a burnt orange. I'm definitely gonna grab some of this. And let's pick up these saplings as well in case we need to replant them at our base. What kind of dirt is this? Peat. This could be really good for pathing, so I'm gonna take some of this as well. 
All right, so we found one wood type that I think is gonna work perfectly for this mining outpost. But I'm just gonna take a quick look around the other islands just to see if there's anything else. Ooh, what do we got over here? What the heck are these things? Ooh, I don't think I've noticed anybody on the island using these yet. I'm not sure this wood type will fit the vibe of this build. However, I'm definitely gonna grab some saplings of this because it'll be nice to use for something else. Oh my gosh, he is zooming. <laughs> Look at him go! Why is he running so fast? That doesn't look right. Now that we've got a new type of wood to build with, let's grab some of the other essential blocks so we can get started on this build. These giant orchard trees are so pretty, but they are the most knotted trees I've ever had to deal with. I honestly would just leave them, but they're casting huge shadows on the hillside where I want to build, so they gotta come down. All right, so I chopped down those trees at the front of my island, and I managed to get a ton of oak out of that. I mean, look at all of this. That's ridiculous. Plus, now we have more space on our island with those trees gone, and I have the sun shining on the spot where I want to build. Now, I have just a few more resources that I want to collect, and then I think I'll be ready to get started on this thing. I'm going to grab some dark oak to try to use for a trim with that orange wood. I think that could look pretty cool. And last but not least, I think I need some moss. And I think I know exactly where to get some. Oh, bad memories down there. Real bad. But I need that sweet, sweet moss. So I'm going down again. And this time without being pushed. All right, let's just gather up a bunch of this. My tools have definitely taken a beating while collecting all these resources. I hope we can get mending on this island soon because I really need it. All right, I think that should be more than enough. So I'm gonna head on out. All right, so I think I've got pretty much all of my materials that I'm gonna need for this. So it looks to me like we're ready to begin building this thing. So I think the first thing we need to do is finally build a proper entrance to this hidey hole. And I'm thinking for the walls that the brick bonded oak planks would look really nice. Kind of like what we did with the starter home, but I want it to be a little bit lighter. So we're gonna go with the oak. Next, let's get a roof on this thing. And we can fill it in with the new wood that we found. I actually think it looks really nice with the dark oak and regular oak. So beside the hidey hole storage entrance, I think I'm gonna make like a covered workspace that will have a bunch of furnaces and workbenches. So the build kind of goes partially into the hill, which means we'll be able to carve out however much space we need for all of our stuff. And let's just finish up the roof on this thing. I'm gonna use a mix of cobble and moss because honestly, it just looks so good with spruce. It is a classic combination that you can't go wrong with. One thing that I noticed while taking a look at what we've got so far is that the build is lacking a little bit of height. I think adding a couple things on top of the workspace will definitely help with that. I don't really have any plans for this space that I'm building, but I feel like it could work as a little bedroom or something. And next to this, I noticed a patch of grass that would be the perfect size for a lookout tower. I think we'll definitely get a really cool view of some of the islands from here. And then for this tower, let's add a dark oak trim and orange roof to tie in with the other build that we have down below. All right, this is looking really cool so far. I love how many levels and different things there are to look at. One problem, however, is that there's a lot of spaces to this build that are currently lacking access to them. But that means we can put in a bunch of cool little paths that will lead to them all. So I'm gonna spend some time doing that and adding a couple more details here and there before I get started on decorating the spaces. And while I was working away at the base, Froggy stopped by for a quick little visit. Froggy, what you doing here? Um, well, you know how you gave me those feathers last time and you told me that you wanted a PP colored pillow? Okay, it wasn't PP. Pee -pee. I wanted a yellow colored, like yellow flowers, not PP. -pee. Well, I mean, P is kind of yellow, so. <sighs> okay, yeah, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Okay, yes, I did want that. Well, I have come to give you the <gasps> pillows and I brought extra sheets because it was a little bit later than I was hoping. Eight sheets? Do you think I'm gonna like wet the bed or something? It's it's nice to have a backup pair when you're washing your sheets and you should be washing them every week. Hello. So thanks to Froggy, I can now make myself a much nicer bed. I was getting pretty sick of that really thin foam mattress I had been sleeping on. And you know what? I can't lie. I never once washed those sheets that I had on my bed. And I've been sleeping on that thing for a couple weeks now. Froggy, what are you, wait, one more thing. What, what are you listening to? I was listening to Justin Bieber. What, can I listen? Do you have a spare pair of headphones? Actually I do. Um, So Seven and I made our XP spawner into a shop, but you can also farm XP there. And I do have an extra pair of headphones. <gasps> can you show me? Yeah, absolutely, you wanna follow me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, that's so cute. Unfortunately, you do have to go through Amber's house to get to it because there's no official path. <laughs> Why? 
Like, do I have to like, <laughs> like bust into her house or can I like use the path? Like what's going on here? There is no path. You have to go through Amber's house. Can I at least close the doors? All right. And then on the inside, employees only on this side. This is the office. Nothing cool in there. Just <gasps> no, I want to see. Here. Let me see. Is Are these cookies? That is a painting of cookies, yes. What's in the safe? Uh, nothing. Get out of there. You don't know the combination. Get out of the safe. Well, for some reason, I knew the combination. See? Look. You, you didn't ow. know the combination. Ow, ow. Okay, okay. There's nothing good in there anyway. And this is this is my secret lab chair that I had flown in from Amazon Prime. Oh, um, it's dang. It's comfortable. Oh, it's even got like the recliner and everything. And yeah, Sev has this rickety old beach chair that she says is better. This is like a $10 Ikea chair. You know what? It's sturdy. It's got support. It does, but it's not the Secret Labs Minecraft chair that I have. So true. So true. Um, And then through here, this is the main floor for the shop. This is Taco, our cashier. Hi, Taco. It's so nice to meet you. Um, Do you have any discount codes you could give me? He doesn't. The discounts, you know, are covered by the management. He just works here. Oh. Please don't be mean to him. I will not be mean to Taco. I would never. I would never do that to Taco. And then donations are accepted here. Um, You know, if you want to donate any trades to the shop. And then all of our stock is along these walls. Although we do have extras that can be seen upon request. Oh. And then the XP farm is through here. And there's a, you know, an old friend that we both know and love right there looking at you while you go down. Oi, mate, is that block down builds? In it. And then uh, if you just get in the minecart and press the button, we'll be on our way. And I can just use this with donation? Yes, you can donate in the XP farm donation box. I can donate you anything? No trash or you'll be pushed into the pit again. This place is like, I could live here forever. Honestly, this, I was a little bit sad on the island the other day thinking, oh, I'm never going to get to go home. But you know what? Maybe I don't want to go home because this is really cute. I mean, I still want to be on the beach sipping a sangria, but this is okay, I guess. Like, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I actually really miss my house right now. I would like to be home, but that's okay. That's okay. This is making it better. Yeah, I feel like we're going to miss all the, you know, episodes of Hermitcraft that we haven't caught up on. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. You know what? I, I was just about to, rewatch Parks and Rec. So like, what the heck, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. And here are the zombies. Um, you're free to take anything except for the hat bags out of the chest. You can absolutely just farm XP whenever you like. Oh, this one's awful. That's pretty I'm terrible. Probably um now if you want to stay here i do have um an extra pair of headphones i can go grab you i just i brought them home so seth wouldn't steal them um but if you want to farm some xp i'll be right back okay sounds good thanks froggy <laughs> my heart's in the wrong spot <laughs> this is so awkward i'll be right back okay bye so while I waited for Froggy to go grab some headphones, I farmed up some XP. Here you are. This is um because you're my disaster buddy. I figured that we could both just listen to some tunes together. I already feel a weight lifted off of my shoulders. The sweet, sweet tunes of the Beebs is just getting me through life right now. Well, I guess like with everything, like thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And just remember, put some donations in the box. You're not moving right now. I know. It's, it's really, really awkward. Actually. Like, do you want help or anything or? No, no, I, I will do it on my own. Thank you. It's been a long day. I can tell. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> Bye. Bye. After Froggy had left, I hung around the XP farm for a little while longer to gain some levels while I was listening to some sweet, sweet tunes. All right, I've got 34 levels now for when I need them. I think I'm gonna wait to enchant for now because I don't really know which one I wanna enchant next. All right, I think I'm satisfied listening to those tunes. Now, how about we get back to work on that mining outpost? So after decorating the exterior for a bit, I'm really happy with how this build is turning out. So I added in a bunch of detail around each structure, like I put in some lattice around the walls here, some planter pots, I put in things under the beams to look like support, some support beams by the mining area, and as you can see, I also did a ton of pathing as well, and I really love how the paths have turned out. I like how there's different ways to access each part of the build, which is really cool. I've got like a little path going up to it from here, I've got one that wants up to the watchtower with a cute little ladder and from here you can get a pretty good view of all of the stuff going on around the island but even from this watchtower i even connected a path up here which leads all the way down to the front of the build again and just like that it's all connected so the exterior decorations are looking pretty good but as you may have noticed everything else is pretty bare so i think it's time for us to work on fixing that up 
So if we're going to be making a mining outpost, we need to get some things that are kind of related to that. And the thing that I thought would be perfect for this area is, of course, a mason table. So that requires a brick, iron, a crafting table, clay, and some logs. So let's get that. So just like the carpenter's workbench, we can use this table to make different cuts with various types of stones. So we pop in this granite and you can see all of the different types that we have now. Ooh, there's cobblestone bricks. What do these look like? Oh, those are really pretty. I like that. What if we did like a combination of these two for the flooring? I'm thinking maybe like granite around the edges. And then we could start filling in this flooring with some of this stone. We want a little bit of texture difference in the flooring. So maybe let's get some cracked cobblestone as well. Yeah, that looks really cute. I love that. So we're going to have to dig this out just a little bit more. There we go. That's looking pretty cool. And I think that's probably a good amount of space for what we want to use it for. So I think for the walls, I might try using some jungle wood. Let's go with the brick bonded. I find that one looks good with everything. Now, before we throw down the wall, let's get some beams in first. And then let's fill in the rest of the wall with some jungle wood. Yeah, I think that's looking good. Now let's finish off these other walls. So we'll get a beam in first, and then we'll fill in this last wall with some more jungle. Perfect. That's looking real good. All right, so I think this is a pretty reasonable space for a work area, which means all I really have to do is start decorating. So I'm going to spend some time finishing that up and also working on this hidey hole project. And hopefully by the end of it, we'll have a really good storage unit and mining outpost. And um, about this guy. Yeah. He's been scaring me ever since he's been here. It's just Sev things, honestly. That's all that needs to be said. All right, all right. This is what I have so far. Looking pretty good. Now, how about we get our workbenches in? And we'll put the carpenter's table right here. Looking good, looking good. Now, I'm pretty sure we have invisible item frames here, which means at my little workstation right here, I can have like a block here as a table, put an item frame down, and then put this in. And I think if I shift right click it, there we go. Have a little axe next to our little carpenter station. And then we can add other details like that around here as well. Okay, we also need some lighting. Let's see what decorative blocks has. Oh, we can make chandeliers. That would be really cool. All right, let's try that. Oh, I forgot these existed. The spruce supports. Let's make a couple of these because I think these would look a little bit nicer than spruce trapdoors all the way around. So we can add one here and here. Yeah, those supports add a nice little bit of detail to the shelving. Now, where can we place something like a chandelier? What do they look like? Oh, that's pretty cute. I don't know if that would look good, like, if we hung it or what. Like, maybe here? You know what? That's not too bad. I kind of like that. We're definitely going to need a couple more types of lighting, though. And I know we can make more with something called the tinkering table, which requires a lot of redstone. And TNT? Oh my gosh. I don't know if I have any of this stuff. All right. I may not have enough stuff for a tinkering table just yet, but I know somebody else who already has one. Oh, Sev. Don't mind me. I'm just going to use this really quickly. All right. What do we got? here. What does this wrought iron one look like? Oh, that's kind of cute. I don't know if that's necessarily the vibe we're going for. That's nice. What else we got? Checkered. Ooh, that's really cute too. I like that. That'll definitely fit the vibe of a workshop. And we do already have one of these dudes around, but I like them so much, so I'm going to make a couple more. All right, let's go ahead and pop some of these bad boys in. There we go. That's looking a lot better. All right, after adding a couple more items and decorations to this workshop, I think it's pretty much done. We've got a nice mixture of the modded blocks and also regular blocks. Plus, we've got some functionality to it. I'm definitely going to be using a lot of these blast furnaces and regular furnaces. We've got our stone cutter up there. We have our two workbenches that we've been using a ton lately. An anvil, finally. And just a bunch of decorative items to complement it. It's a nice, simple, cozy space, and I think it definitely, definitely does the job. So I also went ahead and did the storage room as well. Wait, what? Thanks for the good memories. I've gone to work for Brooke. Love, Mason. Mason? He left me? Well, I'm going to have to go over there and speak to the manager about this. But for now, I'm going to show you all my storage room. So I decided to just do this off camera because it was just a lot of digging and organizing. And you know what? It's simple, but it does the job. These little dividers and stuff, I've seen Blockdown use a ton of times, so I figured I'd give it a go, and I really like how this turned out. And I actually do have it all organized. As you can see, I've got everything where it should be. And I've still got a little workstation in this corner in case I need to smelt stuff or craft something. I've got my little mine entrance down here still. And one of the coolest parts of all is I made this little entrance from this way over to here. 
So we've got a secret little connected path to our workstation. Oh, and I almost forgot. I did a little stream the other day and chat helped me decorate the spot above the workshop. So we basically have a little bed with some storage, my dimma hat, which is uh, probably my favorite thing that I own on this island. I've got some more Twilight books here, some really cute paintings. We've got my best friend, Minecraft Steve. I really miss him. I hope he's doing well. Although is he really my friend? Because I feel like if Minecraft Steve was my best friend, then he would send somebody to help me. And nobody has come to these islands yet. So Steve, are you really my best friend? You might want to think about that one, buddy. All right, so this is pretty much it. This is my new mining outpost in storage area. I think it looks super cute and also it has a lot of functionality that I really, really needed. Now, there's one final thing that I need to do today. Me and Brooke started our enchanting area. However, we never fully decorated it. So I'm going to meet back up with her and get that built. All right, and here is our enchanting setup. We tried to use some of the modded blocks to give it just a little bit more of a magical vibe. And yeah, I think it turned out really cute. So we've got some lapis for everybody to use. We've got our little donation bin, basically all of the stuff that you would need for enchanting. We also connected a path from the enchanting table over back to the campsite. And Brooke made this really cool floating path that connects to her base. And as for me, I still like jumping in the water and going for a nice swim. So I think I'll just keep doing that for now. All right, everybody, I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. Now that I no longer have a storage monster that's been stressing me out, I think I can finally kick back and relax around this island again. And what better way to do that than hang out at the top of my watchtower and just watch the happenings on the island. See you in the next one! Wow, another beautiful day on the island. Who knew that having organized storage would alleviate so many of the stresses in my life? Am I now a tidy person? Mm, nah, I think that's getting a little bit too ahead of myself. With such a major issue I had now solved, maybe I can finally kick back and relax on this island for once. And what better way to do that than to grab my fishing rod, sit by the water, and forget about all of my troubles. Oh no, what now? Me at campsite, we're going to the nether. Well, there goes that dream. So it looks like we're gonna be making a trip to the nether with a bunch of the girls. However, we still have quite a bit of time to kill before we have to meet up with them. And I was thinking about maybe fixing up some of the pathing around the base. It's still lacking quite a bit of detail and we also need to light it up properly. I'm starting to get pretty sick of all of these mobs showing up unannounced. Plus, this'll be a nice distraction from all of the stuff that we're gonna have to deal with later. Cause we all know nether trips never go well. Now the only problem is I've only got this iron shovel to work with, which isn't gonna last me forever. And that's because, yeah, as you can see, my diamond tools are not doing so well. And that's because we have yet to get mending on this island. However, we may potentially have a solution to that problem. Sev managed to find a zombie villager on one of her first nights here. She's been keeping them safe for now. And also, I managed to find a zombie villager in the caves during our stream the other day. So me, Sev, and Red thought it would be a good idea to work together to cure our zombie villagers. That way we could get everybody some useful book trades. And then hopefully, all our issues with our tools will be solved. Unless I like fall into a lava pit and lose everything or something. I don't know. I'm not ruling that possibility out of the picture. It could happen. All right, all right. I think that this is looking a lot better already. Now, the only thing that we need to solve is properly lighting up this path, which means that I'm going to make a trip to Sev's base so I can make some fancy lanterns again. Hello, Sev? Wait, the table's gone. Maybe it's at her mining outpost? Why are there so many birds here? What is going on? All right, let's get inside before a bird poops all over me. Hmm, I don't think it's in here. Is it time for me to finally fend for myself and make my own? No. Okay, no, I guess I probably should. I'm pretty sure I have all the stuff I need to make it anyway. I was just being a bit lazy. All right, let's combine all of this stuff that I collected together. There we go. So now we've got ourselves a new table for the workshop. Now, where should I put this thing? Honestly, maybe right here is good. And boom. And we're just gonna shuffle a couple more things around, put that there, and we're good. All right, now we can make our own fancy lanterns. Now, what would look good as a lamp post? I feel like the wooden cage could look pretty cool. Now, maybe for the base of this thing, we could do andesite. And I'm thinking I want the base to be a little bit fancier. Ooh, I feel like this one's a good one. And I think that would look really good with some granite walls. All right, let's go ahead and give this design a shot. Get a chain, 
and then this light. You know what? That's looking really cute. However, it's definitely more of a fancy vibe. I don't know if that light is too much with the vibe we've already got. Let's maybe try a different one. I don't think I've tried burning coal yet. And let's go with the bowl again, because that's a really cool one too. All right, burning coal lantern seems a little bit too small. And then lastly, the iron bowl. That one definitely feels a little bit smaller as well, but I think it fits the vibe more. Yeah, I think I'm a fan of this one. And it looks like he is too. Or not because he is turning his head. Well, it looks like we have ourselves a winner. So let's pop a couple more of these around the base. Yeah, I think this is looking really cool. Plus it's adding that light that we were in desperate need of. Now another thing that we can craft are palm torches using some bamboo and coal. So I'm gonna craft up a bunch of these as well. And I think sprinkling a couple of these guys around the base would look really nice as well. They're a little bit less expensive to make and they also give a little bit of a beachy vibe. So I think it's perfect. I think because they're a little bit smaller than our lamp posts, we can get away with spamming them in smaller spaces like this. All right, that's a lot more light added to the base and I think this is looking real good. The palm torches actually look adorable too. I love them. Plus you can see now that it's dark out, they also add a lot more light to the area. So I think our base should be pretty safe and sound for the most part now. And with that, I think there's pretty much one more sleep until we need to go into the nether with the girls. So I think the best thing to do now is tuck in for the night and get a good rest because tomorrow is going to be a big day. Is so everybody Kato. here? Because now I it's getting real. So. I've called you all here because I need to go to the nether and I'm sure some of you oh. need too for resources and other cool mm. stuff. So we could oh. go there and fix that portal. Are we Can doing, we doing this guys? Okay, yes. Wait, 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 guys, 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 guys. Listen up, we don't know what's beyond there. What if no. a couple of us stay behind and a couple people go and scope it out? Okay, okay. what if I volunteer? Yeah, me too. To go. All right. No, not go to go, to stay behind. Just just, just to make sure like nothing nothing bad happens, you know? You two can go first. Yeah, I mean, you I did volunteer first. Yeah. No, I volunteer, oh, no, you guys, no. I'm- You definitely volunteered Trip. to go first. No, 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 no. I don't no, think no, no. we can go yeah. first because we're all the way over here. Yeah, I'm really like, far. In the water. Yeah. Once me and Amber eventually got over our fears of going through the portal, we decided to join the others. And just as I had suspected, this place was terrible. We spawned on these weird honey trees, which was less than ideal because I ended up getting honey all over my socks and sandals. Do you know how uncomfortable that is? Plus, it's gonna take a lot of washes to get these puppies cleaned up later. I should have worn my backup pair. Eventually, we decided to dig a tunnel to see what else was around us. And luckily enough, we stumbled upon a fortress, which had a lot of blaze. Despite them being pretty deadly, finding them was a good thing because now we have blaze rods, which we can use for potions. While searching the fortress, we also noticed an unfamiliar structure. So we decided to check it out, even though it had a high probability of containing something deadly. This is interesting. Wait, there's more down here? After searching around for a bit, we came across a Blaze King at the very top of the tower. I feel like if we release him, something bad is gonna happen. And of course, Sev had the wise idea of waking him up. Sev, don't do it. Oh, ah, ah, I'm out of here, I'm out of here. No! But there's no way we could leave our pal high and dry like that. So we all came back to help Sev fight him. Once that chaos was over and done with, we decided to explore a bit more to see what else was around. There really wasn't that much within our vicinity. However, one of us had a really good idea to place another portal far away from our original one to see if it could lead us somewhere off of our islands. Maybe that way we could finally find a way home. All right, I reckon well, we're pretty far away now, guys. Yeah, all right, so if you wanna do the honors, you got the obsidian. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. I'll go through first home, for sure. Home, home. Oh my god, Drift. I'm so oh, excited to go home. Oh, what? Oh, we were so far that, away. Is this possible? That should have worked. That makes no sense. We're stuck here? Guys, I don't know about yeah. this island life. I, like, I, I miss my blanket. I miss everything. I, I miss being able to watch, watch Parks and Recreation. I want to go home. I have a TV. Well, you do? And a blanket. What? Yes. Uh, oh, I okay. I well, mean, I think you just solved. need to get better stuff here. Like, I'm doing fine. Oh. So, yeah, I, I am too. Things are yeah, doing I'm well, do, actually. I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Wait, you guys have TV? I, I don't. I'm, uh, I'm, I don't. I'm the same with Sev does. I have, I have nothing. Can I come over? Movie nights at Sev's? Yes. Oh, okay then. So now that we're back from that nether trip, I would love to take things easy. However, we've got a lot of stuff to do. We've got to go meet up with Seven Red now so we can get started on these villager trades. 
Well, hey guys, I was just uh, coming over here because after our nether trip, I, I got some blaze rods and some potion stuff. And I actually want to start selling potions, you know, because if like people want to go to the, to the nether with like fire res and things, it might be kind of helpful. But uh, that's what I was just doing here. Okay, well, this this kind of plays out well because Sev, you have a villager, right? And I found one yeah. too. <gasps> no way. Yes, we can get mending? So yup. Oh my gosh. <laughs> to have an enchanted iron. <laughs> yeah, is that enchanted, Red? What is, are these enchanted <laughs> yeah, iron tools? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at, this oh, is, this gosh, is the what state of my being, it? okay? I have a fortune three iron pick though, so you can't hate on it, okay? It's these are like actually three. pretty good enchantments. What the yeah, heck? Yeah, that's why I'm keeping them. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to fix this problem, and this is clearly an issue on the island, so maybe we can all band together and fix this. Yeah, I let's, like let's do it. So off we went to go find our villagers that needed to be cured. There he is. Okay, um, what do we do? Do we just break the minecart? Hi, sir. Ow. Drip, it's tagged Leave onto on. you, so... Just keep going. Socks and sandals ruin Drift is good at Fortnite. I think he really just wants your socks and sandals. I he think that's really what it really does. Is. Look at his little yeah. shoes. They're just like, he's like, no, these don't compare, you know? I want some sandies. <laughs> 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 tragic. Well, I guess, Sev, we're just finding yours. A moment of silence. A moment of silence. Well, we still have one villager. We can still get a mending guy. <laughs> yep. You loved this minecart. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's his remains. Oh, yeah. oh that's even Oh, I picked sad. them up. Oh, God. You know what they say. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. This is true. So now that we were down a villager, that meant we can no longer make the villager breeder that we were planning to put together. So we decided it would be best to just go ahead with curing the zombie villager at Sev's base and worry about getting another villager later. There he is in all his glory. Hiya. Yeah. Nice oh, he does have little blue shoes. Okay. Here we Our go. Our first okay. villager in the making. Wait, is he, is he shirtless? What the heck is this guy even? No, Wait. that's just a top that he's wearing. <laughs> that's like he a different like farmer's shirt though. Look at his cool shoes. Who's yeah, swag? I wonder if he'll look swag when he's transformed because maybe we just did him a disservice. Honestly, he's pretty cool. Oh. So with nothing left to do except wait for our villager to be cured, we just kind of stood around and talked about what we ate for breakfast. And with a little bit of patience, our zombie villager was finally transformed into a villager. Oh, oh, oh my God, is he wearing, he's wearing wait, board wearing shorts. Swim trunks? Yeah, why is he wearing board shorts? <laughs> wow, I did not expect that considering what he looked like as a zombie villager. <laughs> no. <laughs> so now with the new resident on the island, we now had the difficult task of bringing him over to the spot where we wanted to build our shop. We got him in. The day was ending, so we figured we wouldn't go to sleep for the night so we could try to find a new zombie villager on the islands. And after quite a bit of searching, Sev actually managed to find one hanging out on the island where our other villager currently was, so it didn't really have far to go at all. Once we had them both secured, we began to build the shop around them. Well, this looks, uh, yeah. should I say, swag? Very swag. We did it. It looks yeah. so cozy. Like and the best one. part, there's yes. mending and unbreaking books in there. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. want to see the inside. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah. Let's take a look. Yeah. Ooh. Nice decoration and our shop. Cozy interior. Oh, I love the, the flooring. Books. Yep. Put the little yeah, grass the in it. Yeah, so yeah. The flooring, the flooring is made of dirt. Yep, yeah, yep. But you'd never know. <laughs> you can kind of smell mm. it, but you know what? Yep. The texture Ooh, yeah. is so it's, worth it. It's true. It's got like an mm. earthy smell. Yeah, it's earthy for I sure. I like it. Yeah, yeah I it's like great. It. And we've got all of our little villagers up here. Oh, look at them. It's so cute. They've got their little plushies. Yeah, yeah, I gave them a panda hats. plushie. Yep, also these are our Kens. <laughs> yeah, our naked Kens. the beach Kens. And... Wait, 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 wait. There's one last thing we need then. Does anybody have wood? We're gonna wood. chop down this tree. I'm, I'm so curious, all the oh anticipation. Gosh. The cliffhanger. What is going to be made? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. What could oh. it be? There's good decorations, but they're missing one key important thing. You know? Ooh. What is okay. that? Okay, I'm ready. I'm here for it. I'm ready, I'm ready. 
anticipation. Oh I my know. Gosh. The drum roll. Infinite drift right on the sign. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Yes. Okay. I'm probably going to AFK here for a bit. If that, like, just like a couple minutes, if that's okay. I don't want to. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. No, I'm sorry. you're totally fine. I had to do this bubble column and like this glare. I had to go all the way back down because he wasn't on the lead. He was just in the little bubble column with me and it opens up to caves and I didn't want to have him just escape. Uh, so I had to deal with him. Do you want me to talk to him for you? Um, I mean, if you want to. Okay. You might want to yeah. just close close your ears for a second. Uh, okay, okay. Cabbage, listen here, buddy. I'm not I'm not I'm not going to play nice anymore. I I'm going to give you the one two punch if you if you don't settle down. <laughs> you don't don't be mean to Sparkle, okay? Don't be mean to Sparkle or else I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to be threatening, but I can't. But you stop it. She's really nice and she's giving you a nice home. You respect that. He shouldn't bother you anymore. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. So after yelling at a floating cabbage, I hung out for a while to gather up some levels. All right, I'm at 45 levels. I think that should be good. I'm also going to take a couple of these bones. And I saw a power two bow that I think I'm going to take as well. And I think we're good to get out of here. All right, I think I can break through. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I make mistake. Oh, no. That was not good. I'm sorry. Hello, it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I broke this and water went everywhere. I was like, oh my god. Oh, oh yeah, my god. This is like the, the column. The oh, column okay, here. okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, this can be fixed. I promise. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, I did it. I did it. There. All right. And then I just do that. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And then that. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, I'll okay. see you later. Okay, <laughs> Thank bye. you. Bye. Uh -huh. All right. So we finally have our mending books and I'm breaking. And I think we probably have enough levels to fix our axe and also our pickaxe. I'm not too worried about the shovel and stuff yet. So I think I'm going to try enchanting some of this stuff. Let's go for our sword. Ooh, okay, okay, not bad. Not terrible, but then let's go for our shovel. I keep getting fortune two on really random items. I don't know what that's about. And also the diamond hoe, honestly, yeah, why not? Why not? I'm breaking three and fortune three. Well, that would have been much better on my pickaxe, but what can you do? I'm gonna give it one more shot with this pickaxe. Bruh, really? I would take the silk touch, but I need fortune more. I'm going to try placing some torches to see if that helps. Efficiency four. Well, that's not great. That's not great at all. I'm going to waste all my levels again doing this. Here we go again. You know what? Fortune two and I'm breaking three <laughs> at this point. I'll take it. It's better than my fortune one. So at least with that done, I now have fully enchanted diamond tools. Are they the best enchantments? Eh. Not really, but they'll do the job and I'm not too picky, so it's all good to me. Now, let's finally get mending and I'm breaking on all of these tools. And I think I'm not gonna bother enchanting the diamond hoe or sword for now, cause I'd like to try to get different enchantments on those eventually. And pretty much all we need to do next is repair these guys so we don't have any more trouble when building. So I think I'm gonna pay a visit to Froggy and Seb's XP farm because it's been a while since I'd been there and maybe I can pick up a cool hat along the way. All right, all right, what do we got here? What do we got? Oh, there's so many cool hats. What speaks to me? <laughs> Honestly, the shutter shades, the shutter shades speak to me. That is so, that is so like 2012. Oh my gosh, they don't even go over my eyes properly. Yep, those are the ones. All right, now let's leave a diamond in the donation box for them. And I also do obviously need to use the XP farm, so I'm gonna take a trip down there as well. And now all I have to do is hang out and repair my tools. All right, now that we're back working on this build, the structure's done, which means we need to start decorating and actually get the redstone components in. And I think I'm gonna start with the task that's a little bit easier for me, which obviously is decorating. So I'm gonna start by making a nice trim around the windows where the sugar cane is gonna be. And let's get a little frame around the door. And above that, I'm gonna make a little design similar to what we have for the windows where the sugar cane will be. And for these windows, let's try some modded glass panes. Once again, thank you so much, Seb, for letting me use your tables because I have not made one of these yet. All right, there's a lot of good options here. I feel like the ornate ones are really cute. And then I'm gonna make some yellow ones as well because it'll complement the green that we have really nicely. All right, let's pop some of these in to see how they look. 
Whoa! I don't know how, but that looks kind of circular. And I think it's the illusion of like the depth that these pieces have. That is really cool. I love that. All right, that glass mod is incredible. I am totally here for it. There's still quite a bit of work to be done with this build, including the redstone, but I think we've gotten off to a really good start. So I'm gonna keep chipping away at this thing so we can get this farm up and running for us to use. And here is the sugarcane farm all finished. I'm so happy with how it turned out. So I decided to add a bunch of detail to the front of it. Basically a small little outdoor sugarcane farm. And I also take the time to harvest this as well because why not? Uh, and that, uh, chest stuff over there? Yeah, don't, don't worry about that. I promise I'll clean it up. So I tried to make a cute little disheveled path with some of the modded blocks, some dirt path and some grass in between. And I wanted some variation with these little farm patches. So I decided to have some covered, some different shapes, sizes, all of that. And of course I added in some leaves to help frame the pathing. And I also popped in some stalks of bamboo as well. Oh, and I also built a boardwalk along the edge of the island that connects all the way to my base. So all of the pathing is done, which means you can easily get from one part of the island to another. I also added in these really cool giant like bonfire lights. They're actually really cheap to craft as well, surprisingly. I think it's just like a bunch of coal and maybe a little bit of iron, but I think it helps light up the base and it looks really cool along this boardwalk. So as for the inside of this build, this is what we've got. And I honestly love this shop interior. I think this is probably one of my favorite interiors I've built on this island as of yet. As you can see, I really stuck to the theme of the green, some yellow, and all of like the dark woods and stuff. And I think they all complement each other very very well. I played around a lot with like the trap doors. I found like these really cool teal ones and I kind of use them to like frame certain areas and use them as windows. I really love some of the designs on them. Like I like how you can kind of see light poking through this but there's still kind of like a flush wall in front of it. I also added in a chandelier here. We have lots of different types of bookshelves. Oh and also one of my favorite things that I added here are these trap doors so you can kind of see the working components of the sugarcane farm. And basically just here we have our donation box along with the sugar cane that we are selling and we'll just pop all of this stuff in as well and this is pretty much the shop front i'm happy that i left one of the farms exposed so the customers could come in and see it i think sugar cane farms look pretty neat so i like having it as decoration now as for the employees only section it's pretty simple we just have some of the basic tools that i always use lots of storage some access to our other sugar cane farm and up here is our faux window so you can see the sugar cane at the front of the build and yeah, um, I kind of have some stuff to put away later on, but that's a future me problem. So the interior was pretty much all done on stream the other day. If any of you are interested in going back to watch that, it's under the live tab on my YouTube channel. We had a lot of fun putting this together on stream and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. So I think this farm came together really nicely. Plus now we have the farm needed on the island to help us trade for emeralds. I would say that we made a lot of good progress on this island today, but boy, am I feeling tired after all. Of that. So I think maybe it's time for me to kick back on the island for the rest of the day and maybe finally crack into one of those Twilight books I brought with me. I'll see you in the next one. One thing I've noticed lately is every morning I wake up on this island and think, wow, today is going to be such a relaxing day. And you know what? Something always has to happen. So today I'm just going to stand here and wait for whatever it is. Hey, nothing's happening. Maybe today's the day. Drift. Oh. Brooke, hi, what's up? You sound suspicious, which is kind of fitting because I need some help with something. I don't know, you haven't seen me in a couple days and now you're, you're coming over to my island all happy and stuff. Yeah, what's wrong with being happy, neighbor? I mean, like, I don't know, I just feel like you want something from me, but it's a little bit suspicious. I, I don't know, you just got like an air about you today. Dude, I just told you that I want something from you and being up front, we can get some of the other girls. It'll be fun. You know what? Okay, fine, fine, fine. I appreciate honesty, so I'm down. I'm down. Okay, okay. Let's um, let's go see who's around. So off we went to recruit some of the girls for Brooke's mischievous plan. Listen, she's acting all innocent, but I know something is up. I'm just not sure what it is yet. Hello? Is that uh, an Enderman? What is going wait, on? Wait, where? In Madison's house? <laughs> Madison, uh, what? The <laughs> what is it in the corner? Oh my uh, god! No, oh, I looked at it! Oh no, god, help me! Oh, me. No, oh, oh no, no! Oh, 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 uh, yep, yeah, uh... <laughs> you really just welcome. ran away and let me deal with the Enderman. So even though we came in unannounced and ticked off an Enderman, Madison was still down to join us in this secret plan. 
Next up, we went to go get red, and after that, our last stop was Sparkle. Actually, hello. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> oh, hello. Brooke, you can't just bust into people's oh, homes like hi. this. What are you doing? Oh, oh wait. Try that. Go know. back. Go back. We have to be more polite. <laughs> oh, oh. Come on, everybody. Come oh. on. Get oh, out. Oh. Okay, you show us how it's done. All right, like this. Yeah. Wait. Oh. You're, break <laughs> you're breaking. Hello? Uh, hello? Are you home? Uh, why are you breaking my house? I just, I thought there was a doorbell there and it wasn't working properly, so I just kind of committed to it, you know? Oh, okay. That was well. so much worse than my entrance drift. What are you all doing here at my house? Well, I was just wanting to do something that I thought might be a bit of fun, but I need some help, so I was wondering if you could help us. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's just a random fun task that I thought we could do together. We just would need nope. to wait till night and find some monsters. What are you talking about? See, I knew there was something strange about this plan, but I'd already gone this far, so I guess there's no backing out now. Brooke was still being pretty secretive, but she told us we had to wait until nightfall and find a zombie on one of the unclaimed islands. Yeah, this whole thing sounds so safe. There's one behind you, Brooke. Watch out. Oh, where? Oh, okay. Oh, what did it? Oh, oh what are you doing? What the? Oh, 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 my God. God. Look at what this on boy. earth? So it looks like Brooke learned how to craft potions to turn zombies into big boys. I have no idea how she learned to do this or even why she wanted to, but we had no choice but to help her take him down. Oh my god, why is it so funny? What on earth? No, there's oh my oh, gosh. little babies too. Oh, what is uh, happening? Oh no, not the babies. Oh my gosh, there's so many babies. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. They're all following oh my me. Oh my god, I'm trying to help you, Red. I can't, I can't. Come I'm trying. Come why did you want to see this? What is wrong with you? We're Guys, I am, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm the hero today. Oh God, oh God. No, 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 you're fine, you're fine. We did it, we did it. Oh no. Oh my God. Wait, who Brooke. died? Oh no, Brooke. Oh. It's okay. So after we defeated the zombie, we got these boots called giant stompers, which basically allows you to jump on enemies and that will propel you into the air. Pretty cool. On the bright side, I found this, this hat. Look. Whoa, I'm guys. Oh, look at that! <gasps> oh my gosh! <gasps> Whoa! Okay. You caught air on that one. Oh. Wait, should we put these in a... We can share them around like the traveling pants. After going through that experience together, we decided it would be kind of cool to make a club to mark this occasion. So we decided to call it the Sisterhood of the Giant Stompers and name the boots after this as well. Can it be that long? I think so. Oh, way to I find think out. So. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. That's so good. Let's go. <laughs> Basically, we're all going to take turns wearing them and just give them to the next person when we're done. Hereby declare you the first sister of the sisterhood of the giant stompers. Do you accept? I do. Ooh. They fell behind you. Wow. Back up. There you go. Amazing. Yeah. You know, it's pretty Ooh. wild that they all fit us. Like, pretty much perfectly. Like, I got some pretty small yeah. feet. Yeah. Yeah, my and feet are massive. Yeah. I think it's safe to say that's probably one of the last times I follow Brooke's lead on something. Because, yeah, a giant zombie loose on one of these islands was not what I was expecting. Nah, for real, though, we had some fun with that. So, now I've got quite a bit of time on my hands. Which isn't a bad thing. Because, honestly, there's probably some things that we could do around this base. So, this area of the island has been looking kind of sad lately. Got all of our cows in this tiny pen our chickens, one pig with some other cows. Yeah, I think we need to work on our farmland a little bit. So I kind of had the idea to build a little windmill on top of this plateau right here. We are kind of surrounded by large oak trees around here, but right in this pocket, we get some gusts of wind coming from the water. So I think it's an ideal spot. Now it does need some patching up, that's for sure. Just to give ourselves a little bit more room. And I figured around this small little windmill, we can plant some really nice crops, which would lead down over here towards our animals. Now, I don't think I want to do anything too crazy with the animal pens. Probably just keep it nice and simple. However, I do want to fix it up just a little bit because, yeah, it is looking pretty worn down and sad. And I think adding just these couple few things to this area is going to bring a lot of life to this part of the island. All right, this is looking like a nice little spot of land that should be able to fit a windmill nicely. All right, now let's figure out some of the materials that we're gonna use for this thing. I have a ton of deep slate that I think I'd like to use for the base of the windmill, paired probably with just a little bit of spruce, but I think I would like the base of it to be mainly oak. 
And I still have a ton of willow planks left, which I think I'd like to use because I actually really love this wood type. Plus, it'll fit in theme with the rest of our island. All right, so let's start off with the base for this. Yeah, I think this is the perfect height. We don't want this thing to be too tall because it's such a small space. So I think going three to four blocks high is ideal. All right, now for the rest of the windmill, I think I'm gonna go with a mixture of modded oak blocks. I think going up at least seven blocks high should give us enough room for the windmill blade. I think that's good. It doesn't really feel like it's competing with anything else in this area, which is exactly what I want. I want it to kind of blend in. All right, let's give this thing a simple roof. And while we're at it, let's finally get rid of some of these little straggler leaves I've been hanging around since I chopped down that spruce tree. There we go, finally clean that up. Now we'll toss in our willow wood in between and we'll throw down a trim on top. All right, that's looking good so far. So before I put the blade of the windmill in, I actually need to go get some wool. And I think Sev has a stall over here for her sheep farm. Let's see, classic white wool. This is exactly what I need. I think I might need quite a bit of this actually. I'm just gonna take it all. And in return, I think I'm gonna leave some scaffolding and a bunch of steak. Cause honestly, those two items are still quite valuable on these islands. All right, now we can get the blade put up. So I would say we place it right around here. Then we have to pop down our grindstones. Jeez, tough luck with the weather. Well, there goes my one pair of socks. That's okay, we are almost done with this windmill. So now all I really have to do is put the blades in. And for the final detail, we'll get a fence trim on these. All right, I think that's looking really good so far. I only added a couple details with the fencing to the windmill blade, because honestly, it's such a small build and I don't think it really needs much more than that. Sometimes the rain makes it a little bit hard to visualize things in its fullest, but I think it's looking really good. I think a build like this can be kept relatively simple. So the only other thing I'm gonna add is a couple leaves to this thing. And last but not least, I'm just gonna replace the edges of the deep slate wall just to give it a bit more shape. There, the sun is shining and we can get a better picture of how it's looking and I think it looks great. It's nice and simple and I think it stands out without looking too overwhelming or honestly too big within the space that we have. It's a perfect little accent piece. So the windmill's in place, which means now we just have to add some crops to this area. So I'm gonna get to work on planting a bunch of flowers and wheat and we'll see how it all looks. All right, and here's the upgrade that we made to our farmland. And you know what, it's nothing super flashy, but I think it is perfect for this area. I never really pictured our area to have really big farmland, especially because our neighbor Brooke does it so well. So I feel like keeping it really simple makes sense for our island. So yeah, for the windmill, basically all I did was add in some wheat and lilac. I've been using this a lot in all of my crop fields and honestly, this combination is so nice. I think it frames this area perfectly. And I did think about extending the wheat field down over towards these trees and stuff, but I actually kind of like it as a small circular patch just around the windmill. I'd honestly like to maintain as much of this lush grass as possible, especially surrounding all of these really tall orchard trees because I think it just looks so nice. So the only other thing that I did was I expanded the wheat field that we had along the edge when we first started on this island. So for this one, I kept it relatively simple as well, except this time I went with sunflowers instead of lilacs in between. Now I did end up changing a few things where the animals are, but as you can see, it's still looking a little bit sad. They do have bigger pens now, so that's a bonus. But yeah, this definitely needs lots of work still. Now some of you might be wondering, Drift, why didn't you just overhaul this as well? So I figured I'd leave it for now because this area has a build plan for it in the future and all of this stuff is gonna get moved anyway. So for now, we just gave them a little bit more space and we put out some paths and just a few cute little decorations here and there just to make it look a little bit more blended into the scenery. And yeah, I'm really happy with how this is all turning out. Now, one thing that I did notice while I was working on this area is I have a little bit of a mailbox that popped up here and I need to look at the contents. 
So we've got a book that says Museum Now Open. Museum Now Open, located on Sparkles Island. Donations welcome. Please bring one item to represent your island. Place item on pillar or in item frame and provide name. Item frames and signs are provided. Ooh, okay, okay. Well, I need to find something that represents our island. Hmm. Well, my island seems to be known for all of these apple orchard trees. However, I don't know how well that would display. Another thing that I have been working on is this sugarcane farm. So I guess you could say that fits in theme as well. But do I really want sugarcane to represent my island? I don't know. I, I feel like that's a little bit boring. I feel like the thing that most represents my island is honestly this hat. I mean, we've been wearing this thing every single stream that we do. And honestly, you can't deny it. This hat is super swag, which also represents my island. My island's swag, right? But do I finally want to give up this hat? Will I lose my swag without it? Or has the swag been with me all along? I don't know. This is a hard decision. There's one last thing that we could possibly give up, and that would be our Crocs. I mean, these are my backup Crocs because I'm always wearing my socks and sandals anyway, but I feel like these represent me very nicely as well. Plus, these don't smell nearly as bad as my socks and sandals, so they won't stink up Sparkle's museum. Honestly, this hat kind of stinks too. Ugh. All right, let's go drop these Crocs off. Ooh, this is very cute. Ooh, and it looks like there's already some donations in here. Nice. All right, here's an empty space right here, which I think I'll take. Donated by Drift. I think that's the perfect representation of our island. Plus, I get to keep my really cool hat. What else is down here? Oh, cute. The snails, the geckos. Oh my gosh, it's like all the inhabitants of the islands. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. An aquarium. I love this so much. We've got bees, the parrots, the cows. Oh, this is fantastic. I love this. So cute. And it looks like I can hang up this old hat again. I'm kind of glad we get to keep it around for a while longer. I wasn't ready to give it up yet. Well, I think I'm going to kick back for the rest of the day because we actually have a party to attend to at Sparkle's Tiki Bar tomorrow. I'm getting pretty close to finishing the second Twilight book, so maybe I'll crack into that for the rest of the night. Sparkle, hit me with hit me with a drink. Well, I've got some seawater. Unfortunately, that's kind of oh. all we have here. Oh. oh. Yeah. No, like, is it purified? We have, we have yet, no, it's just salty, oh. salty water. Oh. I'm so not sorry. gonna drink that. Oh, I actually no. have my- oh. Here, I'll, I'll still drink it. Oh, yeah. I'll still drink it. Can I have I think I'm all salted out today. Wait, wait, yeah. guys, what is that in the water over there? Whoa. Oh. oh. Is a person? What? Wait, hello? No, there's someone on a boat. Huh? Hello? Hello? Hey. hello? Hi. 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 Do you want to come up, come up here? Mario's head's in boat. The that's a boat. Yeah. Guys, that's a boat. a boat. Where, where did you come from? Um, well, I was trying to find my deserted island getaway package. It was those two little raccoon guys, and I got really lost. And when did we all become squares? Uh, um, that, what? Uh, what? It sounds like a different guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Wait, who yeah. are these where, raccoons? Where raccoons don't talk. Really messed up. Is this Animal Crossing? No! No! What? Oh. What's that? Oh, I'm so lost. I'm in the wrong game entirely. How did I get here? How did you guys get here? Oh. We've been here for a while, yeah. unfortunately. Wait, guys, yeah. guys, 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 guys. Wait, wait, wait. Should we take wait, wait, wait. her boat? <gasps> yeah, she doesn't wait, need it. Wait, can you make needed. boats? Yeah, can um, you make a boat? I can try. I don't have any material materials. I used all of mine to make my boat. Oh. Um, I just tried the same recipe I did before and it's not working. Oh. 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 Well, I guess this place is cursed. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can use my boat. I have my little wingies really? on my back. Yes. Oh. We would love yeah. that. Please. We've been stuck yeah. here for so Please. long. Yeah. Maybe yeah. we will find a I'll way out. I'll give you guys. the boat if you tell me where you got all those really cool hats. Wait, I have oh. one for you. Here you really? go. Really? Oh! Thank you! Ooh, it's a oh my god! Ooh, that's so cute! It's a green burb! Thank you! Oh, oh that is, is so cute! That's adorable! Oh my gosh! I'm the blue one. one. Oh. Okay, well, oh, wait. I we must be on my way boat. then. Wait, did you give wait. us your boat? Oh, no. Sorry. Oh. You were gonna fly off with yes. the bird and the boat? Yeah, yeah that's kind of rude, to be honest. Wild. You might want to get out of I here. I mean, that wasn't on purpose. It's been a long day of sailing and finding, well, nothing this. until this point. <laughs> I must well, be oh. finding my way back to Animal Crossing. Good luck on your oh. mission. Well, okay. Okay. Good luck, okay. I guess. You guys. Yeah. Probably never. Bye, bye okay. boat lady. Bye. 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 <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> oh, um, right. That's um, a weird takeoff. Yeah. Animal Crossing. 
What is she talking been about? In the sun too long. Honestly. Oh, yeah. Wait, I should we have asked well. her if like she could go get help for us? But I, honestly, like I don't, I don't know how much. I, I think she needs the help. Honestly. I think she's yeah. Yeah. I think she's yeah. a yeah. lost. Honestly, yeah, she's definitely lost. Wait, Sparkle. Can I get a seawater? Yeah. I feel like I need one after that. Yeah, yeah same. Oh, yeah. same. Yeah, same. I mean, same. Mine, yeah. <laughs> Hit me. Like, gone. Guys, it's uh, been like a couple days and we still haven't really figured out what we're going to do with that boat. Yeah, I mean, only two people can fit in it, which is kind of a problem. Yeah. I don't think that's really a problem. Two people can just leave. That's and not just fair, though. Home. Wait, that's not wait. fair. What about the I rest mean, everyone's really enjoying their yeah, life here. I didn't say I was going to leave, but I'm just saying if people wanted to leave, they could. I mean, w would you not want to be the person to leave? No, I, I like it here, actually. I mean, I oh. think at the very least we need some sort of help to get more like resources and to be able uh, to have a way in and out if we need it. What if we take turns using the boat and we can see if oh. we can find help or more stuff and bring it back to each other? That's smart. Yeah, I like yeah, that, that could idea. be a good idea. You know what? We've been stuck here for so long now and I've really grown to like this place a lot. It's really starting to feel like home around here. But at the same time, maybe exploring to see what else is out there isn't such a bad thing. Maybe it's time to put my all-terrain flip-flops on and see what adventure awaits us. Who knows? Maybe I'll even find some copies of The Hunger Games. See you in the next one. You know, all of these talks lately about going on a boat, adventuring, seeing what's out there has made me realize that I don't want to do any of that. What's wrong with being comfortable and cozy at home, huh? Today is the day where I put my foot down and I say, no, I'm going to sit and relax on my fishing dock with nowhere to be. And it's going to be great. Hi, Drift. Sparkle eggs behind me, isn't she? She's going to ask me to go on an adventure. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, hello. What's going on? I was wondering if you wanted to go on a little adventure with me. <sighs> okay. Okay. Um, I, I've got to be honest. I'm, I'm a little bit scared of what's out there. But I mean, also, I'm kind of curious. I am getting a little bit stir crazy around my base. I am a little bit bored. But as long as you, you swear to protect me, I will go. I will protect you. And I also, promise. can I drive? Because this boat looks kind of cool. Yeah, go for it. I have no idea how to drive it, so I'm down. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. I'm so excited to get off these islands. Even though that I do enjoy my time here, I am excited to just explore something new. Honestly, same. I mean, like, it's beautiful here, but, like, it's just, it's just been getting to me lately, seeing the same thing over and over. And you know what? Like, the DVDs that Frog Crafting has, we've watched them all, like, three times already. Yeah, it is. Hopefully, we can find something out here that is i don't know a little bit different a little bit more entertaining what if we find like you know like pickleball or something things to play pickleball with that would be yeah, so cool that would be cool maybe we'll find other people oh yeah i guess people too i was thinking more in the terms of pickleball but people would be cool too. <laughs> i see land oh <gasps> you do yeah oh my gosh we're doing it we ended up coming across a village that had some residents. We asked them if they had any idea where we were in this world, and they didn't really have much to say about anything at all. So we just kind of left them alone. Ice? Is that ice? Do you want to go check it out? Yes. And then we will be able to make ice cream and cocktails. <gasps> oh my gosh. I know, I'm so hyped. Oh, it's chilly. I should have wow. brought some sweatpants or something. It's a nice change of temperature though. It really is. While Sparkle was collecting ice, I decided to look around a little bit more and ended up finding some of the classic spruce trees. These will definitely come in handy because the orange ones we have now can't grow into tall four x four trees, meaning it's been taking a lot longer to gather spruce. After exploring this colder biome, we decided to get back in our boat and go in another direction to see what else was out there. Oh, <gasps> what is this? I can see a lot of things, but mostly I see your head. But of what I can see, this is beautiful. Oh, so pretty. Here, just like, just peek over my shoulder. There we go. I'm going yeah. sideways. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. <gasps> oh, this is so magical. Why, why don't I live here? Now this is an oasis. Oh, oh, sea pickles. Hold on a second. <gasps> oh no, I want those too. Wait, so cool. What the heck? I know, I, I want them for my aquarium. You see what I'm seeing? I'm at this crazy structure over here. 
Um, yeah, I think I, I, I think it's best we avoid this. I agree. I have no interest in checking it out. Yeah, let's just do like a, a big loop around it, you know? Ooh, mangrove. Whoa. <gasps> oh, we should definitely bring some of this back. <gasps> Check these out. Oh, cute. They're like little cat cattails. cattails. I don't know if I'll ever build with mangrove, but I'll definitely take maybe a couple of proper heels. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm not even going to bother chopping these guys down. There's a lizard and it's like pink. What? Oh, it just went in the water. Oh, man. Oh, look at him go. He's just swimming along. So cute. <laughs> After we had gathered a bunch of things that we don't have access to on our islands, we decided to head back. After we stopped to look at this crocodile, of course. I mean, look at him. He's so cute. And surprisingly, he didn't want to eat us. So that turned out to be a pretty successful adventure. We ended up finding some pretty good stuff, specifically these spruce saplings. This means that finally I can chop down the big taiga trees. No more having to plant these pesky little guys. They were such a pain, especially because there's actually some spruce logs hidden in between the leaves as well. And sometimes you end up missing them. So it was just kind of a long, complicated process with these trees but you can't deny that they are very pretty. However, aesthetics aren't always everything because, you know, after all, I do use a lot of spruce, so it's nice to have the regular saplings back. Now, I don't want to turn any of our stuff into pods all over here. However, there is this little island right here that I could plant some saplings on, and I don't think that should disturb anything, really. So let's get some here and one right here. And just for good measure, we can plant a couple of the small ones as well. So now we'll have easier access to spruce for building. Now, the other thing that I managed to collect was actually some mangrove propagules, which I might end up using. We don't really have any modded blocks that are red, and I feel like using mangrove would actually complement the green palette that we have. So I'm going to plant a couple of these guys along the shoreline here as well, and maybe we'll end up using them for something. There, I think that should be enough. I'm definitely excited to have a new block to work with while building. We are for sure going to have to incorporate that into something. I just have to figure out what, though. However, what is that? Why is there a giant boat bird? When I see birds, there's only one person I can think of, and that is obviously Sev. What is this? Oh, oh, it's not safe. Um, hello? Do you know what this place is? Okay, well, you don't have to be so rude. Jeez, staff here are not kind at all. Wait, what is this? DJ wanted for big party, me. I'm a DJ. I mean, well, I was back at home. I'm I'm a really good DJ, actually. Should should I sign up for this? I'm a little bit nervous because I mean, I don't want to intimidate people with how good I am at DJing. But look at this setup. These are, these are really good speakers. Where did Sev get these? Oh my gosh, let's take a look at this table really quickly. This is top of the line equipment. This is better than what I have at home. You know what? I think we need to bring some fun to this island, and I am absolutely down for the job. Okay, later we could eat some food, but now let's go upstairs because I have a special Ooh. surprise. We have a very special guest Ooh. here today. Whoa. Look at this. Yeah, it looks so this cool. beautiful stage. You know, today DJ somebody is swaggy. playing. Yeah, DJ Swaggy. Put your hands coming. up! <gasps> Are you ready to party? DJ Swaggy dropped, oh my gosh. Are you so ready to party? party? I want to see those hands in the air. Let's go. Let's go. Do you all love Justin Bieber? That's right. That's right. One time. One time. Put your hands in the air. Ready? Three, two, one. Put them up. Put them up. Swag. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so, so much. Oh, my God. I will be here another night, maybe, because this was really fun and really soothed my soul. Good night, everybody. Good night. After rocking the stage with my set, we all went downstairs and enjoyed a meal Seven prepared for us. 
And then we got into doing an off-the-cuff open mic where I guess you can all imagine how that went down. Let's go. I'ma tell you one time. Somebody already sang Justin Bieber, you have to sing something else. That's literally all I know, though. That's not true. I don't know anything else. Could you recite some Twilight lines for us, maybe, you know, from some books? Oh, yeah. Hold on a second. Let me just, um, let me just go yes. into my mind palace really quickly. <clears throat> I'll pull some of my favorite quotes, uh, oh, from go. Twilight. <clears throat> About three things I was absolutely positive. First, Edward was a vampire. Second, there was a part of him. And I didn't know how potent that part might be that thirsted for my blood. And third, I was unconditionally and irrevocably in love with him. Wow. Thank you. That's so good. That's the no, back. The that was blood. the back of the Twilight book. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was just a really <laughs> good yes, quote. It was. It's in the book. No, it was the back. It's in the. It's in the book though it's it's a good part okay maybe i only read the back of the book so far okay i've been busy doing other stuff i'm a little self-conscious because i just haven't had time to read and i set a goal for myself this year that i would read all of the twilight books and i've only read the back so far just don't tell anybody okay i mean the back is pretty much all the stories so you're not really missing much you're so yeah, right that's, that's fair mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so anyway sparkle did some karaoke <laughs> okay ready mm-hmm Okay. You're on the phone with your girlfriend. She's upset. Going off about something that you said. Okay, there we go. Woo! Party. That was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. That was so good. I oh, I, I, I'm so stuffed. I can't eat any more of the food that I took for home later. You stole food? You stuffed it no. out of your pocket? No, no. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I definitely it. stuffed some of this food in my pockets, and I'm gonna take a little bit more before I go home. It is getting I, uh, kind of late, and I should probably head home after I take the oh, rest yeah, of this right. sushi. My sushi? You're, you're just taking all of them? <laughs> you took all my sushi. <gasps> oh, nope, no, there's I one took left. I got it. <laughs> I took seven pieces. I think that's fair. <laughs> took seven pieces yeah i'm gonna like be hungry later you can plate. sushi refrigerates okay as long as i eat it within like a couple hours from now oh yeah anyone, i mean five... did anyone not get a plate of chicken that wants one because Ooh, like, that's all that's left one. is the bones i didn't have a bowl so i will take one guys i'm going home i'm going to bed i'm tired glowing By the way, I, I made that sushi five days ago glowing. left it out in the sun it's fine it still tastes okay <sighs> it wasn't fine at all i've been ill for like three or four days now stuck in this home and the worst part is i don't really have any food of my own at this point i'm pretty much all out and to be honest i don't think i'm ever gonna accept food from sev ever again i was so ill that i'm pretty sure i hallucinated brooke stopping by like five times a day just yelling my name at one point i think i did see her sitting in this chair it was probably just a weird fever dream though so now that i've learned my lesson of never accepting food from sev ever again i think it's time that i manage my food supply a little bit better now i have a ton of cows and one thing that i've really been missing is a burger i've pretty much just been living off of steak this whole time and a little bit of chicken as well and although i've gotten really good at cooking steak and chicken I don't know, I just really miss eating burgers. You know, nothing beats it. So I'm thinking to save everybody, including myself from Seb's cooking, that I should start my own restaurant. So now I have to figure out where I'm gonna build this thing. Now we do have some space over here. We could tear down all of these trees. However, it is a little bit of a tighter space. Now I'm wondering if I want this restaurant to have a nice scenic view, what if I built it up here? You know, it's prime real estate. And hopefully, since it's up here, everyone can see it from around the island. Madison might be able to see it from over there. Red can definitely see it from her island. So it'll have a lot of eyes on it. And hopefully that means it'll increase my business. Yeah, I feel like this is the perfect spot. And I've got these taiga trees, so spruce is no longer a worry for me. I will never ever take giant spruce trees for granted ever again i just collected all of this so so quickly and time for the not so fun part the mangrove i think i'm gonna be here a while you know what i think a stack and a bit is more than enough mangrove 
I'm basically just gonna be using it for the roof, so I don't think we'll need too much. Plus, I just really don't wanna chop any more down. All right, with all of this collected, I think that this should be more than enough, at least for the mangrove and spruce. We are definitely gonna need a little bit more oak. However, we have some space to clear, and all of these oak trees have to go. So we'll gather what we need in that process. Now, I guess it's time for me to clear out these beautiful, but also kind of annoying orchard trees. All right, I think that's a pretty good amount of space for our restaurant, so we can definitely begin building this thing. So of course, let's start off with building a footprint for this build. Now let's get some beams in place, and I think we're gonna go up pretty high for this one. I'd like it to at least be two floors tall. Oops. After I added some other rooms to the structure to give ourselves some more space, I then built up the roof and filled it all in with mangrove. Except I think for this roof, I'm gonna fill it in with some bamboo. This will complement the mangrove really nicely. I still have a couple pieces I've gotta fill in here from building the roof. However, I was kinda of thinking about popping these pieces out and getting like a nice trim of mangrove along the sides here. And maybe some along the bottom would look nice as well. Yeah, I think having that wrap all the way around is gonna look really cool. After that, I added some details to the outside of the build like leaves, lighting, and a chimney. So we've got ourselves a lovely looking restaurant on top of this hill, and I think the exterior looks really good. The interior, however, yeah, this needs quite a bit of work still. So if we're doing a food establishment, that means we definitely need an area to cook from, and I'm thinking this little nook should be more than enough space for us to grill up some burgers. So I have these spruce drawers. We could kind of use this as a counter space to have a till, greet our customers, and then I'm thinking behind we can put in a stove and all of that stuff. And in order to get in and out of this space, we could put a little trap door right here. So this is our designated work area. Perfect, it's open concept kitchen. All of the equipment will be of the highest standard and I will absolutely make sure our food preparation is as safe as it can be. I don't think we can say the same for Seb's restaurant. All right, so kitchen space sorted. Now we need spots for our customers to sit. I'm thinking we could do a couple tables here and there some cozy little seating. And we have a little bit of extra space here, so maybe we could fit in a double table here as well. There, I think that's pretty cute. Can we do double tables here, do you think? Or would that be too much? Maybe on this side, but maybe fitting in another one right here would be nice. Just to give a little bit more space in this area. There, I think that looks pretty good. Next, I think what we need to tackle is lighting. So maybe we can hang a little chandelier here in the middle. And then I was thinking maybe we could get in some extra shelving units around here, just for some decoration and possibly some extra lighting as well. I think these are hanging a little bit too low. I might have them all just resting like this. Yeah, I think that's better. And of course, since this is a restaurant, you know there's gotta be some cups and plates on the tables. Looking good, looking good. And of course, at this fine establishment, we've gotta give our customers free drinks. Refillable, of course. And of course, we've gotta give our customers a place to throw away their garbage when they're done. So this, I think, is the perfect spot. And there we go. All the main fixtures are in place for the seating area. Now I just need to wait on a couple of decorations and for the kitchen to be installed. And once that's all in place, I would say this puppy is ready to go. So in the meantime, I am gonna go read up on some recipes on how to make a burger because I honestly don't really know how to make one yet. I think I may have gotten ahead of myself, but hey, that's fine. I can figure it out. All right, so I got my restaurant all up and running. The only thing I need is my trusty cutting board and knife. So let's just grab that and... Hmm, while I'm at it, maybe I should grab this pot just in case. And I think we're all set to go. Now the kitchen and all of the decorations are completely installed and I think that this place turned out really nice. So without further ado, here is the burger restaurant. All fully decorated. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's super cute. So I just added in a couple of decorations like paintings, some banners to go with the theme of our palette. Uh, we've got some decorations here, some flowers, and most importantly, 
it's super clean. Definitely up to the health and safety standards. Trust me, nobody's gonna be getting sick from one of my burgers. Sorry, Sev. So as you can see, I added in our very important menu so everybody knows what we offer, which is just um, a burger for one. What, what's one? I actually don't know. I don't really know how to price things. I'm, I'm not really good at this stuff. So I just, I just put down one in hopes that people would just give me something. I don't know, but since we now own a burger restaurant, I think it's time for me to um, learn how to use this stuff. So let me put away this cooking pot. And I think what we're gonna have to do is put down our cutting board and the knife. So to make a burger, let's see. So we're gonna need some bread, a beef patty, cabbage, onions, and tomatoes. So luckily I have tons of access to wheat and also beef because those are the two things that I have at my farm. So we're good for bread, for sure. And of course, I also have access to, well, lots and lots of beef. I feel like 22 should be more than enough. Now, as for the vegetables we need, it's a good thing that our neighbor Brooke built these markets over here that should have everything we need. All right, let's see. So we need tomatoes, which there's tomato baskets here, but I don't think those are for sale. Ah, tomatoes, onions, and cabbage. These are the three things that we actually need. So this is perfect. I'm gonna take these and take a stack of onions and then a stack of cabbage. Now, where do I leave my donations? Ah, perfect. I'm going to leave a ton of diamonds here for Brooke because she really helped me out. I feel like 10 diamonds should be good. Now there's one more thing that I think I need for this restaurant. Listen, if I wanna be the chef, I need the appropriate attire. So of course, I have to wear the chef's hat. Hey. Looks pretty good on me. And of course, let's throw some diamonds into this. And I think we're all set and ready to go. All right, I think it's finally time for me to put my cooking skills to the test. All right, I'm actually not really much of an expert, but I think I can figure this out. So I'm guessing I need to grab this knife. Okay, and then maybe put this steak on here. Should I cut this? I think I should cut this. Oh, okay, so I made minced beef. All right, what if we put these into the pan? Okay. Let's try another one. We can get two going at once. Whoa, okay. So this cooked into a beef patty. Perfect. Smells delicious. Look at this. Cooks pretty fast too. Let me uh let me inspect this really quickly. Uh yep, this seems to be yep, cooked thoroughly, and it definitely did not fall on the floor. I think to make the rest of this burger, I actually need to combine it on this crafting table that is um on the floor that my feet have been walking all over, but nobody needs to know that, okay? Nobody needs to know that, you don't... It's just a little chef secret. The seasoning on the beef patty, they taste so good. These burgers taste so good because I've been stepping all over where I put them all together. That's the secret ingredient. Don't tell anybody. Why am I still whispering? Okay, I'm not I'm gonna I'm gonna stop whispering now. So I think to make these patties, I combine bread, of course. We got your bun. We've got the beef patty, we got the tomato, the onion, and the cabbage, and bada bing, bada boom, got yourself a burger. We're in business, baby! Look at that. Perfectly crafted burger. Floor burger. That's fine. Nobody needs to know. I guess I can just put them in this drawer for now. Drawer burger. Delicious. All right, I feel like I've got to test these burgers, though, just to make sure they're good. I need to fall. I need to do some fall damage. Hold on a second. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. We can't be serving our customers bad burgers. What if something's wrong? What if, like, the salt, the salt is off? What if it needs more salt? What if it's too salty? Got to test it. Okay, I'm going to sit down. going to enjoy my burger. Let, let's see how this tastes, okay? That is the best burger I've ever had in my life. I am literally tearing up a little bit. That is just so good. And I'm not just saying that because I made it. That is the best burger I've ever had. I think they're gonna like it. I really do. So, I mean, I think that this restaurant is going to be a hit success. This is taking a little bit of time to make and I'm starting to lack a little bit of sleep. So I think what I should do now is probably go and get some rest. And hopefully in the morning, I can start advertising my new restaurant to everybody and 
you know, maybe from here I'm gonna become a f world famous chef. Ow. Oh. Okay, that's very rude. Yeah. I think it's finally time for me to go get some rest. Drift. Brooke? Hi. Hi, Drift. What's up? Um, nothing. What's up with you? Nothing. Um, did you come here for a reason or just no reason? I'm bored. It looks like you've got a lot of stuff over there. Are you sure you just don't want to be bored back at, like, your base or...? Uh, no, I'd rather be bored in here. Um... I was kind of in the middle of something, but I guess if you want to make yourself at home, fine. What do you want to eat? Spaghetti. I don't have spaghetti. What else? What, what do you have? I, I have steak. Ground steak. Okay. I'll have a steak. Okay. I guess I'll see you later then, eh? Uh, sure. I'll just go take a nap. Oh my god. Drift! Um, hi. Brooke, where are Hi. you? I'm, I'm in the water. You know, I'm kind of in the middle of something. I, I don't know if you can tell by my hat, but I'm extremely busy and extremely important right now. Oh, oh, oh you're just breaking I my crops tell. for me? Okay. No, I'm like helping, but um... Uh, what, what brings you here? Um, nothing. I'm just bored again. Oh, I mean, I, I don't know if I have time. As you can tell by my top hat, I'm really busy today. So... Oh. Oh, okay. Do you want to cook me a steak? I'll just take a steak. Yes. Thanks. Hey, Drift! Oh, no. Um, I'm just gonna pretend I don't hear her. <laughs> oh, you're fishing. <clears throat> Hello. <coughs> oh! <laughs> it's you oh. again! Hey! Those eyes! Yeah, um... First of all, I'd just like to address the fact that you kind of just smell like seaweed all the time that I see you because you're constantly having to swim to and from our place and it's it's starting to smell kind of gross. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about that too and I'm kind of sick of swimming here. Oh, well, I mean, you could just stay over there if you want, you know? Uh, I don't think that's an option. We should um build a bridge and then I can come here all the time. <sighs> you want steak, don't you? Yes. Fine, let's build the bridge. Yay! Well, now that we have this bridge that connects our islands together, I guess I should probably be expecting even more visits from her. Unless I bother her first. And then maybe... Just maybe she won't bother me anymore. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Oh, Brooke. Brooke, I'm here to bother you. Wait, where is she? Hello? Where is she? Where'd she go? How am I supposed to bother her if she's not on the island? Oh, no. Wait, what's all that commotion? I feel like it's coming from over there. But why is everybody meeting at the campsite? Oh, are they all telling jokes about me again without me being there? I sure hope not. All right, I'm gonna go see what's going on. Okay, so guys, I've called this meeting because I went offshore and I found something that I think will get us off the islands. Oh. Oh. Ooh. What is that? that? A giant oh. rock. Whoa. Yeah, he this is a waste stone. And oh. um, I think we can use it to teleport. I can give it a go and show you guys if you like. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, Whoa! Oh my gosh, she's gone. Oh Where'd she go? She Where's left us! Oh, oh my gosh, oh, she's, she's back. back! I'm back. She's back. I'm back. Oh my gosh. Where'd she go? All of Are you, you okay? should be able to use it as well. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. It's great. It just takes a level. Oh, I want to try. Should I try? Oh, yeah. Should I try? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, what? oh, oh, oh. Ah, wait. Where do we go? Whoa. I want to try. Whoa. I'm not, I'm not. Oh, it's it's not. I don't know. Village. Where are we? Yeah, so I actually have like heaps of these. There's enough for everybody. Oh. Um, oh. So if you want to oh, see goodness. one up yeah. somewhere, you can have oh. your own. Wait, oh is god. this a way that we can maybe get back home, you think? Yeah, I think from the village that this teleports us to, we should all be able to like kind of go in our own directions and find home. Oh, wow. oh my gosh, we can oh go home Wait, after all go. this time. Ooh. This is this yeah. is huge, guys. We can yeah, actually get home. We can leave. Yeah, we just go. Wow. wow. Not gonna lie, 
I'm, I'm gonna miss this place a little bit. I don't know how to wait, quite. Oh, feel. I'm not gonna miss it. Let's go. Let's go right now. Wait, oh, wait, 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 guys! No, no wait, wait, wait! Oh, okay. wait. Uh, wow, well, wow! Froggy, where are you? Come back, Yay. guys! <laughs> if we're really gonna leave. Oh my god! Oh my god! There were so many people screaming there, and everything was on fire. Holy! What? Oh. Where'd you go? Yeah, where'd you go? Wait, guys. Before, like, if we all decide to go our own separate ways, don't you think we should just have, like, a proper goodbye? This place has been home to us for a while. Yes. Mm, yeah, yeah, that would be yeah. Nice. for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, what would we do? Yeah. Well, sleepover? I'm just saying, <gasps> I did sleepover? build a new oh restaurant. Yeah. If anybody wants to, you know, eat some burgers, oh, give me food. some money, oh, you know? Oh my gosh, burgers. Oh, yep, yep. Burgers. Yeah. Let's go. Burgers. Also... I think we're all gonna miss it here, so maybe we could come back on holiday one day, all together. Oh, yeah. that would be that so nice. That would be so nice. nice. I have like a new vacation spot now. I love this. Yeah. yeah. I, Party no. island. I actually yeah. want to just say one thing. If we're gonna come back here now, I've been thinking of this for a while. Some of us need to learn about soap while we're off the islands, okay? And I'm it's, not saying anyone in particular don't look at needs me. to look Whoa. at soap, yeah, but I'm like, what drift? Drift has to wear me. Crocs, like the same ones and the same socks, and mm. it stinks so bad. Girl, that girl, you don't true. even have socks on. So true. You don't even have socks on. Your feet yeah, are molded and fungusy. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's not argue on our boots. last night, guys. Let's yeah. go to Drift's restaurant and have Yeah, a maybe fun. you're just hangry. You know, need some food. So some food true, place. guys. I, I can cure that yeah. if you give me money and profit, because when we get home, I probably need to pay my rent. I just threw that on the ground. So I would love it if you all paid me for the food you're about to eat. I have what? feathers. You know, I can do I can, that. Can we pay, pay you? Oh, we food. all have lots of feathers. Wind, floaties parrot heads. and sunglasses. Yeah, you yep. um, I have and parrot You know, heads. diamonds would my, be nice. My grandma bought her house for feathers back in the 60s, so I feel like that should be still applicable now. Um, yeah. well, That's you know, inflation, all of that stuff. I would probably prefer diamonds. Two stacks of feathers then. Okay, I'll take two food, stacks of food. feathers. That's fine. Yeah. Oh my God, it, do it does kind of have an odor over here. It doesn't. <laughs> I told there you is... it wasn't me. It doesn't. No, oh, wait, I mean, you know it what definitely that is? is probably wafting in from your island. No, you know what that is, guys? Wait, hold on what? a second. I know exactly what that is. Somebody, oh. Red, oh. you left this, these pair, like these boots? I forgot to wear oh, them and the they've just been, stompers? yeah, they've been mulling in this chest for like two or three weeks now and they reek. What the heck oh. You never <laughs> aired them out? No, I didn't. I completely oh. forgot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the heck? What the heck? So after we found the source of that mysterious smell, we were on our way to my new restaurant. Welcome to my burger barn. Could I get anybody anything? Sev, you are my first customer. I want a burger. I want a burger and I'm gonna pay this. What? Why? <laughs> Ugh, fine, I'll take it. I'm desperate. Honestly, I'm desperate. Okay, one burger coming right up. Coming is right up. Is it an actual up. burger? Yes, it's an actual burger. Of course it is. Look. Free range oh, beef. Get off the counter! Oh, this is a safety on. violation. <laughs> Wait, I take see it. Health and safety is burger. very important to me. Burger. Very, very important to me. Do you need any help? No. <laughs> and after I fed some very rowdy customers, we decided to head over to Sev's new hotel for one final party and a good night's rest. We went upstairs to the bar area for some fancy mocktails and lots of dancing. It was such a great departure for this island that I began to feel really sad that we would all be leaving. Yeah. Guys, are we sure what? we want to leave? Yes. Really? But like, look at yeah, how nice so. it's become here. Yeah, Law and Order here. is at home on DVR, and I need to go watch it. I don't want to be alone at home. It. Yeah, you can just go grab yeah. it and bring it back, though. There's no well, electricity that's a good here. Point. We can make electricity. Exactly. It's gonna be so sad not having you guys near all the time, though. Right? Yeah. Does anybody it have MSN? Sad. We can. Link up that way. I have um, AOL. Yeah. 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 Oh. I have MySpace. I don't know. If oh, I'm you do? Oh, okay. I'll add you yeah. to my top eight. So we all spent the rest of the night chatting on the rooftop, watching the stars, and reflecting on all of the good times we had on these islands. I think I'm really going to miss it here. Now that I've got this waystone, I guess it's time for me to go home.
Although in some ways I've really been itching to get back to my base, I'm also really gonna miss this place as well. Look at how far we've come. I got to hang out with my friends all the time. We managed to survive together, build up this really beautiful place. So it feels kind of strange to just leave it all. Honestly though, I don't think I wanna leave this place forever. I think this is definitely gonna be my new vacation home. I mean, after that whole incident with the boat in the first place, I think just using a waste town to travel back here is probably best for me. I mean, it's got everything I need here for a quiet, relaxing vacation spot. I've got my good hat, I have my pictures, I have my books, which you know what? I might bring these back with me. Listen, I may have only read the back cover of Twilight, but I'm determined to read the whole series. So these are definitely coming home with me. I don't really think I need too much else here though. If I'm gonna be coming back, it'd be nice to have this place fully stocked for when I do visit again. Now I guess the only thing left to do is place this waystone and go home. So I'm thinking upon entry back onto this island, the nicest thing to see is the seaside view. So we'll place our waystone right about here. And maybe we can get a little bit of fencing along here as well. Maybe hide some lighting. Just so when we enter, it's all well lit and we don't get ambushed by mobs. That is not proper vacation vibes. And how about we get a nice bench right here so we can sit and ponder while we look at this beautiful view. And with that, I guess it's finally time for me to use this thing. Okay, I think I'm ready. I've got my twilight books. I've got a little bit of food. Huh. <sighs> It feels really weird to leave this place. This has been my home for the past while, and you know what? It's been such a great time. But yeah, I think I'm ready to go home, ready to see my cat, and ready to just get back to my regular life. Well, goodbye, Vacation Island. Goodbye, all my friends. I'll probably see you soon because you know what? I really love taking vacations. So I'll probably be back next weekend. All right, let's go home. Would you look at that? I'm finally home. But you know what? I am absolutely freezing in these clothes, and I think it's finally time for me to retire these socks and sandals. Surely not because they're rancid smelling or anything. No, I think I just need some proper working attire for my base again. Ruth, hello, I'm finally home. I missed you so much. Would you like some food perhaps? You would? There's some fish, buddy. I missed you, it's good to be back. And. I brought you an extra copy of Twilight. There you go. What's the matter? You don't want it? You've already read the entire series front to back? Twice? And you watched all the movies? Without me? Ruth, how could you? Well, it looks like I have a ton of catching up to do now that I'm back at home. There's a lot of work to be done around this base, but the work starts with reading all these Twilight books. 